Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here then? How is everyone? Hmm. Streams bit rate is lower than it should be. Is that gonna fix itself? Let's take a look. Uh, looks all right to me here. Maybe some just lowering it, loading. Rory, hello, fella. <coughs> right, just doing me socials, everyone. Fry, Roy, yeah, mate. God, Peckham's a long way from Devon. How you doing, bud? What's going on? What are you up to nowadays? Total blood rain. Hello, mate. Welcome in. Let me just do the promo. Sorry, everyone. I got sidetracked. I got sidetracked, which is easy to do. Today we are building a mega build of a farm. That's what we're doing today. I hope you're gonna have some more rat bags join me to set it up. Um, and just for the looks really, like I know I don't need a huge farm, just do a little bit, but uh, yeah, just for the, the lulls, if that is such a thing. There we go. That's the promo done for Twitter. Now let's get on to the Discord shit. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Where is Nightingale Streams? There we go. There we go. Nope. Wrong one. Wrong one. Nearly done, last one, and we've done all the promo. That's it, we're done. We're done. Hey, promo is done. And just get my activity feed out. That's it. Hello, welcome in. Welcome, 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 welcome. You haven't been able to play too much work. Ah, oh, rip. The pool disconnected all the time. Maybe, I don't know, to be honest. There's still a few issues people have been having for sure. A 
full sure. What's Chicky building now? Oh, she's doing like a farm build. She's doing a nice build. Right, so first things first, let's set up a portal that we're going to keep permanently. And this is going to go into our. Um, basically, it's going to become a farm realm. We're going to have the best cards on. So we'll be debating about the cards. I think Chicky's right, one of our rat bags, in that. It's better to have a card that it's always raining rather than one that gives you more yield. Because the amount of time you spend having to water every plant, I feel like it's going to eat into the time. I've yet to do a single bit of farming in this game, though. I think I grew like one plant maybe in the preview period. Now I'm just removing some of this because we're going to get the resources back. And me and Chicky agreed we're going to make this into our effectively um portal area so i'm just just opening things up a little bit she's building mats right i'm gonna move oh no I'm gonna move her building mats the box over there somewhere Tempest card, yeah, that's what we're thinking. That might be the one to have it. Chiggy's building a base here. I might just live in the, the Tempest one at this rate. No, but we are going to have a proper realm set up. So, for now, what I'll do is we'll just get rid of one of these portals and we'll drag it over here. Man, I love the effects in this game. It's so pretty. Can't remember what that realm was. But there we go. Shut it down. So we're going to need to bring some materials with us to make estate cards so that other people can join the farm. Tudor. Man, I didn't realise I'd got all the uh, some of the Tudor stuff. I really want to... I do want to mess around with um, building as well. I do. But so much to unlock. I still haven't unlocked all the stave gear. Or I don't think... There's, I think there's more Tudor stuff as well. And Shaq. I think I've finally unlocked all of the crude stuff. Because I've got the advanced walls now as well. So let's just put a portal down for now. But yeah, we're going to use this. We're going to end up... This is still going to be my crafting realm. So I like the main central hub. And then when Chicky's done what she's done with the base, I'll move in there. And then we'll... Um, yeah, we'll turn this into like a portal hub. Because it's kind of got the foundations for it. We could put three here, three on that side. And we'll keep them always being like the um, tier three realms. We'll just swap out in and out. And then that side can be tier two, that side could be tier one. Something along them lines, we'll see. Right. So, Chicky was saying about doing it on a desert. Now... The problem I've got with just doing it on a desert is it's not very for the look of the thing. But I suppose we've got everything, we're going to have everything in crop plots. It would be cool if it was a really big flat area. And that big flat area had, like, I've really got an idea of some designs. I'm hoping Jicky's going to be engaging me. Thank you so much, Total Blood Rain, for the bits. Thank you very much. Didn't have to. Appreciate it. Um, but I like the idea of having it zoned off. So we'll have like just fields and each section will be like tier 5 or tier 4 or each section will be like desert. And then in the middle of each one of these sections we could put up just a little shed made out of that component. So if it's going to be like desert materials that you find in desert then we'll put like a desert stone structure just as a little shed in there just for looks. And the forest. So you know at first glance. And we'll put the decorations around. We'll put things that might suit it in and around each part. That's that's what I've got in my head. So now we could do that in any other realm as well. But it means probably... Well, I feel like everything's got... A, apart from the desert, everything's got to be on foundations. The desert is kind of perfect for being able to line everything up. Because it's so big and flat. But the forest and the swamp... They do look better, right? They look better as a 
a farming area. But I'm not too not too sure about the swamp. Kestra. Hello, welcome. So maybe what I'll do, maybe I'll just go and visit. I'll, I'll, I'll knock up some cards. I do need some other cards anyway. And we'll take what we need to make the, the estate cards. And we'll see what it's like. Maybe we can visit a couple of realms and just have a look. Ponder, hello mate. <coughs> I'm just getting things set up. I'm just debating what we're gonna have. Cause I'm still like debating whether or not we need um Oh bounded yeah, I'll do that. Whether or not we need a farm or a desert. A desert would be better for like all the resources. Like having it nice and flat. But then the forest has got more foliage around and it kind of fits more with the farming kind of vibe. So I think I'm going to go and check out a farm realm, uh, a forest realm, and just see if we can find something good. Get as flat ground as we can, spot, and then we can build, we can maybe incorporate changes in landscape. Because it's all got to be in boxes anyway, so we'll have to put it all in foundations, most of it. A terrace farm in the swamp would be cool. Yeah, it could be, yeah. So, with the cards, we're presuming it's got to be herbarium, but I'm guessing it's not going to matter if it's herbarium ascent. Like, ain't like it could be a herbarium abeyance card for all, all, all we need, or antiquarian. It doesn't need to be like a super hard one, does it? Persistent turtle, hello. Yeah, I'm going to look around. I'm going to jump around and we'll have a look. But I've got it in my head. I've got, like I said, um. This vision of having each section marked by like a shed and that shed or a little outhouse building is made out of that area so if we've got an area for the swamp stuff we'll have shack stuff in the middle and then we'll have desert stuff desert shack and then have like a big storage I feel like as well having a very large sort of uh, archway uh, pagoda in the middle and then you've got like effectively sections, you know, you go in one direction, it's all going to be desert stuff. Or maybe like we do it tier five, tier four, tier three, but desert, swamp, um, desert, swamp, forest. And then we have the main house coming down and in between the main house and the pagoda in the middle or the, you know, the overhang, the sort of open plan place, you could have the tier fives and fours. Or, or certain materials and stuff like that. Yeah, you get more essence. So yeah, we're not. Well, yeah, I suppose that would be good though, right? That's a good point. If we get more, yeah. So if we do have it in a harder realm, it will be better for that. You haven't played it yet. Why not, Sever? I love the game, mate. I think it's great. Beats and bites. Hi, welcome in. Oh, I love the game. I think it's amazing. Right, let's go and check out a desert uh, first, a uh, forest first, and see what's going on. And we'll, we'll do the uh, barium. I've only got ascended anyway. We won't do an extreme, we'll just do it on like... Only fix the amount of essence. I mean, at this rate, we're kind of going to get tier 3 essence a lot. So it might be better to have a lower herbarium, like just a regular herbarium. Because then that would give us just lots of tier 1 essence that we might be able to get hold of. Especially if we put it on extreme, we'll get more amounts of it. 
So, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to quickly craft an Abarium card. Just a regular one. Because the grind for tier, like, I've, you know, I've just had loads of tier 3 essence because that's what you're going to do more of now is probably the vaults and stuff. So it kind of makes sense. Right, what do we need for Abarium? Vibrant ink. Ooh. Overlord, hello fella. What's happening, sir? How are you? I went and dumped it somewhere, didn't I? It definitely is in a dump box somewhere. But where? What dump box did I dump it in? I've been working a lot. Yeah, nice, no, great game, mate. We're doing non spoilerish stuff today, so you, you've not got to worry. So I've been doing like end game content, so at least you can, uh, if you want to hang out and chill or ask questions, we can. So soon to get in Pondar, I'll invite you in and you want you come check it out with me. No. Where is all the stuffs? Maybe it's here. Yes, well, we've got, got normal ink. Maybe I haven't got any more vibrant ink. Maybe I used it all up. I probably did, you know. So much gaming news today. V Rising's got its official 1.0 release date. We got um, Ark. Looks like stuff's happening with that as well. The Animate TV show and Scorched Earth looks like it's coming. I reckon Scorched Earth's out next week, you know. I, I, I recorded a bit of a video today, but I'm going to record more of it tomorrow or later tonight. And yeah, I do think it's coming out next week. It's vibrant ink. Um, where do we make the ink again? At the... Water. Yes, here we go. Do... do. I feel like we must have vibrant ink. I'm sure I've got some somewhere. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. And I think as well, I do live in the desert. I, I kind of feel like I want something to break it up a bit. If I'm going to be travelling to another realm, I don't really want it to be another desert a lot. Like, if we're going to be there a lot, it kind of feels a bit sucky going from desert to desert. I know I could move my main base, but that's just too much work. Too much work. Coffee then. Okay. And then last thing we'll take with us as well, we will take the um, the machine. Wherever I put it. Where the hell did I put it? Hex, hello. You think the free rain in the swamp is the best option? Yeah, that's a point. So like the Tempest is good for the desert, right then? But if it is going to rain in the swamp, then maybe we don't need to use the Tempest card. Maybe we could have a better um, card for growing crops. So I'll look at that in a minute as well. Realise I have got just a ton of shit on me. Let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of it. How you doing, Hex? What's going on? Yeah, sorry, you know what? I've got to turn Nightbot's, uh, Nightbot's a dick. I keep forgetting to turn it off. I've only just added it, so forgive it. Nightbot, Nightbot's a dick. What I will do is I'll make sure I bring that I can craft estate cards as well. And then I'll add one in. Yes, I can. Okay, so you know what? We'll take just that. I don't need to bring the my best bench for me, do I? As long as we've got that. As long as I can carry everything else. I set this bench up. You woke up late today? Nice. I had a little 45 minute nap a couple of hours ago, hour and a half ago, two hours ago. 
I had some time with my daughter. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty feeling pretty good. Yeah, and we'll put that in extreme, and then we'll just get the most amount. It's still only 120. Yeah, they are. I do love a good nap. It is the best. Okay. And I'll just check if, what cards we need. What kind of fiber cards have I got? I don't, I don't even know. Whew. It's not amphibious. Not the angler. Not blood moons. Deep Fey cards, Dragon's Halls, Duelist. Not the Feast card. Hunt. It's got to be like the Provisioner. The um, Settler card. No? Craft one of these up as well. But I'll also. I've, I've, is there a Tempest Epigean? You need an Emerald for the Tempest Epigean. So is the best one. Is there like a. Yeah, wh what does it give you when it's even better? If that makes sense. What do you get out of it? Like it rains, but does it rain more? Do you, Does it increase crop growth? Commands up. You can't set it to public. You can run them onto public. Oh, sorry, Sever. Did I miss a question? Yeah, you don't, no one can join your realm unless you want them to. Do the halves of this card as well. Utopia card. I'm just going to craft these just so I can take a look at them when I put them in. Oh. And Utopia is diamond foil paper and lustrous ink. Diamond foil paper and lustrous ink. Alright, well, let's do for now. We'll come back. Is there good realms? Yeah, the, I mean, there's the desert, swamp, and buy it like. Yeah, it's going to take you hours, man. Good 40 hours to get to the end game, unless you like some sort of weird super rusher of a game. No, Fry, stick with what you got, mate. Stick what you got. Tempest also increases magic, so maybe the better the Tempest, the more boost to it. No real change in rain. Right, Fry. Yeah, because I'm feeling like if it does rain a lot, then maybe we won't need to bother in a swamp herbarian swamp could be the best spot for it oh shit mate I'm, I've come ill prepared oh uh, uh, <coughs> okay this is a great start Tier 2 Essence. So we'll get a lot of Tier 2 Essence being here. I did finish off the magic build last night. Take a look at that beautiful thing. Level 250. Um, I did say I was going to finish it off tonight, but you know what? I, fancy, I just want to do something different. I can't keep spending nights and nights doing the same shit. Right, and see what I'm going to put down the machine straight away as well. And I'm just going to mess around with these cards so I can gauge it for myself. Oh, uh, what am I missing? An ingot. 
How did I not pick up the ingot needed? What's this nonsense? I'm going to go back. So yeah, Tempest is the rain, but it is a pain in the arse. But most of it is going to be for the looks. The chances are the farm's not going to be that, you know, it's just about doing it for a video or just to show off and say, look, I've got this great big farm I made in my rat bags. Like, how much are we going to have to water? Probably not that much. That's right, I went and just used these up. I should use these juiced ones, really. Back in. I think I did, Kate, you're right, I did. Really cheeky. She's probably going to get on late, a little bit late. But yeah, V Rising today. Um, I saw a little tease for Forever Skies. Let's do update. Mm. Valheim, the, the vines growing on Shizzle. That looks pretty good. Alright, let's take a good look at these. So, refinement time is decreased by 10 seconds. Yes, yeah, so the Arsene card is definitely about making stuff. So, no, we don't need that. Harvester's Workshop. Refinement time is decreased. Place could offer greater yield and reduce stamina cost, but lower damage. One can eat from the Feywild to minimize disturbance to the natural world. So you just get better tools. Okay, so we don't want that then, do we? No. I've got to do it like this. I've got to look and like read them myself. Just understand what we're doing. The half card. So that would also be good as a card just to chill with and not have to worry about food ever. Settler card. Slight stamina region decrease. Crafted refined metal items have 1.5. Crafted lumber items craft stone. Okay, so not really for growing. Tempest card, moderate magic power increase, slight magic efficiency increase. It never stops raining. I guess the f point is as well. Maybe we've got to change. We've got to use once we get the build set up, then we decide what card we want. Utopia card. I feel like I must be missing a card. Then was is there nothing to make your crops just grow? Is that the Harvester's Workshop card? Yes, for making seeds. It's the only one that really helps farming. The seed farming card. Yeah, why haven't I got that? What realm's that on? Anyway, what I will do. Um, let's play. Let's just play um, a Utopia card for a minute. It's all very natural colours, greens and oranges and stuff. Something, yeah, if we're not going to play, I guess the swamp would be the better option, you know. Because with the swamp, you have got the rain. There is land, we can find somewhere and just have it all set in the water a little bit. That might look good as well, because if you place the foundations at the right level, I wonder if they'll pop out just above... Like the grow, the, like a foundation with the growing boxes on top of them will just be just above the water level, almost like an Asian sort of paddy field. Settler card reduces grow time. Greenhouse card for harvesting. That's right.
I love that stuff. It's so pretty. It's such a pretty game, man. But even that, that see that mountain there looks pretty cool. Imagine having an estate on top of it, like a building, and then coming down. Just this, I know it's a lot more work doing it on like a, a not flat surface. It is. Farm the world. That's it. See, I'm into my farming phase now. So that's quite a flat top there. It's it's that the forest is actually quite hilly. There's not that many flat spots. You'd think maybe like the card might dictate it a little bit. So if it is like a herbarium, maybe that would make more of a flat spot. Although that this area is pretty flat, maybe. I mean, it's obviously got the realms here. Once you chopped all these trees down. It's a relatively flat area. I'm going on like I've not seen a forest before, but you know, like you sometimes aren't paying 100% attention, just running through, doing what you're doing. No, I'm feel. You know what? I'm feeling the swamp. I feel like the swamp might be the best bet. We'll get the rain. We'll see how often it rains when we set one up, and then we can always just put the card on still for more rain if we need it. But I just feel a little bit like that was a potato. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Let's go back down then to wherever uh, the machine was. Is it this way? Meat plow, hello. Greenhouse card increases plant yield, reduces the time to refine, refine fibre into products, and improves the quality of plant-based items. So, you kind of want your cooking set up there as well. Is that right? Crafter games, gold, rice resistance, proof stealth, will still weight the items lightly. Stronger growing speed cards with even better yields. Even worse stamina regeneration buff, debuff though. Is that what you need? You need potatoes to make the farm card? Okay. Just gonna have to find the farm recipe. Feels like there's two Fay portals. No, it's not. Yeah, that's it. Some of the bonuses don't always show until you go and play the card, which is super annoying. How did I get up this hill so quick? Where's it was down here? On this side. Or I could just look at the map. Maybe I'll just do that. Yeah, it's already that way. You get six seeds for two flowers instead of three seeds without the card. Right, gotcha. So that's good for, like, basically, you want your farm in different stages. You want to use the cards in different stages to get the right stuff. So, play the farm, make sure you've got the cards available so you can do. If you're going to do all seeding, obviously, do it. If you're going to do harvesting, play the card. You just grow and play the card. Toothless Chihuahua. The Tempest seems to have the best benefits. I only have to splash a little water instead of fully watering them. Bounty card seems to give decent yields for net, for net gains. Really? Yeah, Chucky's pretty adamant that, that that one's the best. And we're playing it on the forest. That could be good. But I'll take this with us anyway. Or not. Potato! But I am, I'm, I am definitely ruling out another desert. I don't want to spend another 10 years on a desert. What have I taken with me here? So you still do need to water them. You don't, it's not just a case of not having to water at all. 
What if you had it in a swamp herbarium? Would it work that way? That if it's getting more rain anyway? Charm of Bounty, yes. So that's what I kind of want. I want to make sure we've got everything set up that way too. Uh, desert card, the hunt card. Oh god. Right. Just dump off some of this stuff that I not need. I don't know why I've got 19 Etten hearts for me. got no wire. Yeah, there we go. Rain gets the 99% water. It does. It's a bug, supposedly. It walks to the 90% mark. You have to run by splashing them to fully fill. Ah, oh, see, so that makes me feel like even more. So even so it doesn't matter, rain will only do it a little bit, you still have to water. Yes, Ponzo, who's it saying that? They, that you can leave your NPC. If you give them a water can, they just stay there. And people had the jubbles and they were leaving one of them in the stream last night. That was that was sounded like pretty good advice. That's why I didn't have the wire on me. It's like why did I have to go and get wire when I just dismantled one? Oh, like swamp, forest, swamp, forest. I don't know. I don't know. Come on, how long does it take? Enshrouded roadmap came out today as well, and they're like, they're adding portals. It's like, are you sure to other servers? Ah, oh, really? This game hates me. It hates me. No worries, Herbert Nimble. You'll come back and we'll still be debating like where to move to. Potatoes.
I do. I want it. I want us to make like the best farm ever. Oh, adding an NPC to a print mode. Yeah, it looks all right. So the what? That's the goblins, right? Swamp. Well, already it's not too bad. Look, if we chopped all these trees down, it's quite a flat area here. Just literally here by the uh, the big portal. Get up a bit higher. Let's examine. You got it on the gloom realm. Oh, but isn't that really dark and horrible? What, what's the benefits of a gloom realm? Isn't it, isn't it oppressive living in a, such a dark area? See, this is good. This little stretch of land here is pretty cool. Not too far from the main portal. Long way to water if you want to do pace. So you a lot of clicks and pop-up windows. Yeah, the helpers do that. Shack there. I mean, it is really flat. The swamp is flat. You just got to put a few foundations down. And we'd be making it, you know, we could join up two pieces of good land here and maybe over there. Or here and incorporate that statue. What if we did that? We incorporated that. Garden beds don't need foundations. Gloom usually rains all the time. Right. Yeah, we're debating what cards to play. We'll, like, either use the rain cards, the Tempest one, or um, a thingy. This is relatively okay too. Again, it's quite big, an area. A bit more rocky here. That's the big area. I'm, I'm, I'm literally from here, this water's edge. Imagine it all covered in foundations with the plant boxes. Stretching all the way across this middle stretch of ground. And then we could have the house here, like the main sort of uh, farmhouse. And then. Walkway here. I don't know. Let's walk around a bit more. Let's see what else there is. Can you just watch the video on the uh, enshrouded roadmap? Yeah, it looks good. I was saying, it's like kind of copying Nightingale with the, the the portals. But I'll let them off because since their first game was called Portal Knights, I'm sure they've had ideas like that in the past. I mean, that's. Port, like it's weird how Nightingale was also actually kind of like Portal Knights because that's what Portal Knights was you would set up portals or jump from one world to the next so this is a little bit too hilly and rocky we're going to grow everything meat plow I want it to be the biggest farm going and I've got in my head on one side having either all the desert stuff that grows with like a desert outhouse and on one right side we'll have all the swamp stuff and then or we split it into like tier 3s, tier 4s, tier 2s, tier 1s as well as just regular foods and stuff so you know, it, it does get really rocky in certain parts of the swamp that, that area that we were just at might be the best part That is a very bright orange. Like you can go to that island. I swear you can. I 
Imagine we built all the way over the far distance. I wonder if there's any Easter eggs like that. The devs have added like something that you can only get like random chance happening. Yeah, there's too many rocks and stuff in the ocean. Gardens in Swamp Bearing, they grow pretty fast. But grabbing a few fish between harvests and replants is a good way to keep it feeling moving. Yeah, that's right. We could make this the, the fishing spot as well. Although, you know, you'll be forever going, right, well, do I need the fishing card on? Do I need the farming card on? No, maybe that first area. I don't want to spend all night choosing. But, yeah. This isn't too bad. Obviously, I know I can play another card and we'll just get, like, Eternal Daylight. Think about chopping all them trees down. No, it's Chicky. Chicky, if you're feeling not well, don't worry, darling. There's no rush. Like I said, I've got, my, I've got plans as well. Obviously, I'll need you for the, the farmhouse if you want to build it. But... I'm still uh, most important to me is just the layout, really. We're just debating what to do. I've kind of decided I don't want another desert, though. I don't want to spend my life traveling from one desert to another. So it's got to be a swamp or a um, forest. We just had a little look around the forest to see what we could find. See if there was um, some really nice flat pieces. And we're now we're looking at the benefits of a swamp. Because it rains a lot, we might not need the Tempest card and we can mess around with the other farm cards. Was this where I just was a minute ago? Just checking this out. Or was it even more further over? I mean, so many shacks and stuff. Hang on. Just back over that way, yeah. Just Ems, you got your base back. Jace Ems, nice. Good to know, mate. Was it all right? He didn't have a, like, a massive, massive rollback. I was lucky as well. My rollback was like an hour, if that. And I hadn't really done much. Yeah, this is it. I think this is this could be good. I think this pool wall on this side. That pool wall on that side. This is quite a nice bit of flat land here. We've got a natural sort of wooden bridge here, a uh, land bridge, and then we could have the, the house here, like the main house, like I said, and I've just got this vision of having an open top middle with all the storage, basically, where we store tools, store the crops, and then you just know that you've got to go right, left for tier five, or left for swamp, forward for desert, forward for forest. Could make it really raised up, you could do, you could do. But I feel like this is probably one of the flattest spots in the game. Like we've like that's already done most of the work for us. And friendly Grundle and Harpies can visit exactly. Do you feel I can convince a harpy to take a watering can? Just in its horrible little face, watering everything. Why don't the hippos that grow? I think my stealth is pretty good. 364% maybe. I'm wearing my all magic gear. Okay, right. Well, first things first. I can, for now, use that shack as a temporary point. I'll put the card machine in here. I'll get you involved, Ponda and Chicky. I'll send the invites in.
And we need... Come on. <gasps> no, I didn't bring everything with me. Why? Why, Jade? Why are you dickhead? The glass. Oh, you know what? That might be able to get... We'll just, I just need an ore. There's got to be an ore around here. Five crystals. Here we go. It's definitely living up to its uh, name with the old um, rain. Just need a stone fence around it, some port to stop the spawns. Nice. No, it's actually got to be glass. Ah, uh, okay. I'll go home quickly. Okay, well, I've built that as well anyway. You know what? I'm just going to play. I've got so many set of cards. Let me just play a set of cards. Just make it look a bit nicer. Oh, Grindel. We're, we're cool, yeah? We're cool. Oh, it's nice and bright now, at least. Yes, my love. No. I've got nothing for you. I've got nothing for you. You know, if I, if something worked, I would give you it. But I've got nothing for you. Yeah, I have, I have some raw gems. No? Did you just take it? I mean, not give me anything back at all. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. All right, I'll just invite you to the realm then. I don't need to do the card yet, do I? All right, let me do that. That makes more sense. There you go, sir. Give me a shout when you're ready. You probably like doing stuff. Oh, hello. Yeah. I'll just give you a crystal. What more do you want from me? I've forgotten what they take. It's the ritual offering, isn't it? That's what they're meant to do. Have a smarter. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Do you like that one? Would, would, would. No, you didn't like the smarter. I don't know what you want from me. We could even build the house on top of the hill there. And just stroll down a little bit. Yeah, man, these bugs. Really can't see me. I've got a green buff on me. What's the green buff? Have I been blessed? Grendel's Stamina Blessing. Ooh, okay. So I've been given Endurance. Oh, okay. That's cool. Give me a piece of meat. Right. No ways, Hex. I'm probably going to do a video as well showcasing what we did. Because I feel this would be a good opportunity. I'm getting nervous, though. I feel like I haven't got long before I need to maybe start incorporating more Valheim content. Because it does, it really feels like it's happening. Ashlands is going to drop anytime soon. I feel this could be good. Do tell me if you, you think I'm like wrong here. Be like, no, Jay, this place looks like shit. 
Like, I know you could probably have a more interesting estate home, like where you've got like tiers of rocks. I thought about that as well. Because that's what the video I saw. Well, I think Nightingale did that one of their builds. And it did look good. It did. But I don't know. I also like the idea of having it. Like I said. I mean, up here is pretty cool as well. Definitely clearing this out and having like a, a, a grand farmhouse up here just for the looks. I don't know if anyone wants to just build just for the fun of it. But looking down. Yeah, imagine that. So we're looking down from this height. I'm, I'm envisioning the thumbnail now. And it's literally going to be just fields there and there. Oh, it's a health and stamina boost. Oh, really? Oh, you get a potion, potion of it. Yes, gotcha. So that's how you get it. Ooh. Right, have you joined? Yeah. It's quite nice. I'm feeling the vibe now. It's like a nice daytime. Well, while I'm waiting for you, Ponder, I'm going to go ahead and chop some. I started in Swamp as a noob and couldn't make ink. Didn't know I can buy it. Oh, why couldn't you make ink? Was there no flowers? No? This tree's like, nope. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, you got the yellow. These reeds. They're f no, they're not flowers, are they? Oh, yeah. 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 There we go. Clearing out a bit of uh, area. <laughs> Getting yeeted by trees. No, as it actually crashed. It's not far at all. It's just up, just there, literally up uh, beyond the hill. Just there. A little road, just there as well. So that area looks pretty flat there as well, which is what over there. Yeah, that's right, because you guys have got to walk from the portal. It'll be all right for me, because it's my... No, it won't be... Uh, I'm the same. If I, if I, we have this as a, a portal, we're always going to turn up at that one. So, yeah, you're right, Chicky. Let me um, take a look at the, the, the portal. That's, that's more of an important point. No, not everyone wants to spend 10 years walking around. I don't mind resetting again and we'll have another attempt at finding a, a decent one. There's Ponder there. Hello. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. Should we try? Do, should we try one more swamp? Just to see if we can get another sort of draw. I mean, you could have it. You could potentially have it in these these rock pools here. Just have loads of um, the foundations. We've got a river. It makes it look like a river. Little bridges going across, using some of the water to have it as like decoration. I don't know. Come on, you guys. You have some input as well. It's you're going to be your farm base too. Oh, that might work. But I reckon we'd end up just covering all this water. Like with foundations. Like we might be able to make a little bit of a... A nicer... Sort of river or something. So if we put like a foundation down. I did only work in... F really? Okay. Let me try. Just give me a foundation. Oh yeah, you're right, Chicky. Or can can you start from a piece of land and go forward? So we'll raise it up. No, no, we can raise it up. Yeah, look. It could be interesting trying to use more of the landscape of the land. I just feel like it's going to be even more. Well, I guess it's the same as the other place, really. It is right next to the portal as well. Should we load up one more swamp and just have a look and see what happens? I'm going to run back and get the stuff. Yeah, let's try again. Let's see if we can find something a bit, bit, bit better. Because, yeah, it's not it's not grabbing me now. And if it's miles away to walk for the um, other stuff, that's not grabbing me either. Me just realising that too. What have I got? Using lumber, you okay? Right, I'm gonna go back to back to home and reset again. So. Is that the criteria, right? We're looking for close to the portal. Not super deep. Pinkness. Quick. 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 Oh. It was only tier two. I was convinced that was like a, a, a special creature.
Okay, let's reset again. Okay. Oh, swamp again. Barium again. Let's see what happens this time. I mean, that's the thing as well, though. People do get annoyed with travelling to places. And they'll end up just putting, like... You guys are going to end up just putting five of your grow boxes down. That you need, like, the most common stuff. Like, I mean, it would be great if we could have, like, a full, like... 25 boxes of each kind of plant. Some of them prioritising, some of them more than others. You know, for tier 5 fibres. And, and if we're sharing it properly. Maybe find a couple of other rat bags that want to help us and join us. That we can trust. Oh yes, Katie. That's a good point. I'm about to uh, become green cracker. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, bed. It looks great, Chicky. It looks great. Obviously, I demolished a bit, just like we said, I'd make a bit more of a portal. So I'm going to keep the foundations here, and I think that might work out well. And keep this little veranda walkways. We put fences around it. And we'll do the same on that side. So then I can start really keeping them as they are. And stop chopping and changing. So I'll always have like one wing is ascended realms. One wing's always provisional thingy thingy. Tier two. No walls to shoot. Exactly. The bane of my life. The bane of my life. You cheat us, Herb. Yeah, we ain't got far, mate. We're still debating about where to live. Right, my first reaction is like, oof. But, uh, it's relatively flat. But we'd have to raise the rocks quite a bit. The, the, fan, the foundations get over some of these rocks. Right near big ruins as well. I don't know, there's nothing really grabbing me here as a uh, standout here. Like a little walk is okay. I don't think this is the one. It's not just the walls to shoot through. Hey now, hey. This is the problem with doing it like this. We're gonna loot, like we can't go back to the one we just had. What about on the other side? No, it's it's too rocky here. Not feeling like there's much. Uh, look at this landmass here. Cause it would be cool. We could utilize the water around us. It's not a bad spot. It's relatively flat. A little bit of a raised hill, not too far from the portal. We're on the coast. It's always on the coast. But. Yeah. No. Oh, my 
dogs barking people. Got to go and let him out. Okay, I'm going to go back home. Try one more time. One more reset. Oh, uh, did I only make, did I not make enough for bearing cards? Oh, I've got that fucking glitch as well. Well, I can't get out. That is definitely top 10 worst glitch. What do I need for just an abarium? Coat of paper. Take some glass for me as well this time. Um, where? I can't believe it. Ah, oh, super annoying. Maybe I've got in here. Go on, be be paper. Why are you not paper? How dare you? How dare you? No. Fine. Gotta make some. You got herb cards. I was running it to a build limit fairly quickly. Your base looks bigger. Is there a trick to building more? We definitely don't connect stuff. I don't know about that though. Two, four, three out of three fifty. Apparently, as well, someone was saying last night don't have, um, don't build any of the, you know, the aid missions that you have on the realm. So if you've got any abeyance realm, or if you change realms, that's. A, I don't think there are any these types of um, aid ones on these realms. Apparently that is being taken into account in some people's build structure limit. But yeah, as long as you've got it separate, you should... As long as I've got it right, that's what it's meant to be. That's why you've got the two out of a hundred. I've only got two structures, really. And then the two, four, three. I always thought that meant per structure. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it does mean across the whole map. Okay, that'll do 64 paper there. Um, and then the cards, 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 cards. Both the numbers are unreliable. Yeah, I've been hearing that quite a fair bit as well, to be fair. I've got my coated paper. Oh my god! Herbarian crops grow a bit faster, yeah, apparently. Or you get a better yield, one or two. You hate that you have to spawn... Yeah, I've written that would be something they'll change fairly rapidly. So this is getting the most, like, hate and f stuff. I still don't know if... Um,
if there is oh, now I've got to make the cards Herbarium, there we go. Yeah, I've totally lost that train for... Yeah, Chicky was saying about having Tempest to make it rain more. But apparently at the moment, the bug is you still have to do water in anyway, because it only fills up to 99%, maybe. Right, here we go. Just the last drop though. Fifty fifty. Really kishy. The desert is the easiest to build a farm realm if you've got the Tempest card on for sure. <laughs> but like I said, I'm I'm sick of seeing the desert only. It would be nice if I'm gonna be spending my time between like the farm estate being on something different like the forest. And I do feel like we could combine. I could anyway. I'm not too sure because I, I, I hate fishing. I'm not that bothered about fishing. So I'm never going to be someone that just spends like hours just chilling fishing. So I probably don't need a whole realm just for fishing. Really when I think about it. But farming, I like the idea. I'll, I will like come over and grow new crops. Right, don't break this time. Please work. Please. Come on, everyone. Pray. Pray. It's a nice one. Okay, well, we've got a structure here. <coughs> Can you build right in these? Can you literally make this your base? Yes. Oh, that might have fixed the, um, the issue with the boxes. It's a weird mix here. Oh, it's kind of, kind of might maybe all right. Little path here. So the portal's just there. Just run down that path. Or incorporate that. You'd be surprised how much tier and two one you'd get, and top of the line pole. Yeah, I've heard it's pretty good. Not be able to line your building blocks with it. Yeah. But it'd still be nice as like a um, something in the background. I'm gonna look. I will look down here. Let's look here. How flat this is. So do you want a bit of water? So like I said, we could incorporate. Try and keep things a bit more natural in some places. This does look pretty flat. It's got a few rocks sticking out, but not the end of the world. The portal's only there. Can just about see it.
once you get rid of all these trees, you can fold meat fibre. Fold meat fibre? Would you mean like um, stack it? Yes, I heard that with the, um, not curio meat. What's it called? Um, the ritualistic meat. All right, I think this might be a contender. I won't erase this one. We'll keep this one up and I'll go to another realm. Let's just try one more. Literally, the only thing I've got against it now is actually that structure right there. Unless we're definitely going to build in it. It might kind of override what we're doing. But there is... There is it's good. It's relatively flat. It is... We're bound, I think. Arcane wick threads drop from the bound rarely. I've got two. Uh, right. And can you use it though? Can you use it in clothing? We found a cave in my waterfall with an entrance at the base and a level open to the waterfall, mid waterfall. Oh, nice. Could turn it into the portal room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just my farm one though. I'm not gonna I'm not making my whole base here. Just the farm. But yeah, I think it's uh, definitely uh, maybe a worthy one. So I'm, I'm gonna return home. We'll leave that one open. You can use coat instead of cloth so you can save a bit on your top end meat doing that. I want the fault the stuff in. If you use ikka as the spice, then you can use the tender steak back into a new spice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's getting patched this week. The caps and everything on the um, duplication of wood and stuff. So I think it might not be worth really spending too much time doing it, to be honest. Like, I feel the game's quite easy now. Like, he, maybe only the Sended Realms and Extreme are going to give me much of a problem. Right. Last one. Bright holds. That sounds nice, though. Def like there's some places in the desert, you find that it goes down. It's like thingy. Right, let's dog in again. Do you know what I'm getting real flashbacks with back in the day? Canon, thanks for the uh, follow as well. Anna Nandalea Galera. Anna Nandalea Galera, thank you, sorry. Said that horribly. Um, Minecraft, back in the day, before there was any creative, real creative mode where you could fly around. Be testing out different seeds. Yeah, could have supports for fishing realms and free biomes have the whole food network linked for sure. Maybe even have a hunt realm as well, where you just, cause hunts should have more creatures, right? Oh, okay. Let's teach me how to play the game for some reason. I mean, it'd be pretty epic to have uh, a farmhouse on top of there and stairs cascading down. There's a lot of structures here. There's a hill right there. Having it raised. We've got the portal room over there as well. Okay. Game's going mad, telling me all the codex stuff.
But yeah, trying to find the perfect seed. Got a good amount of land here. I mean, we could build it around the portal. The large, the portal. Like, literally have it around this. We chopped all these trees down. That'd be a give us a bit more land. We could even, wait, do you know what we could do? Just for the pure aesthetic and looks of it, we could put our mushrooms in grow plots inside the cave and make out like it's got to be dark. You know, certain materials that we're growing have got to be properly in the dark in the cave. So the port was the centre of the farm. Just looking around. Why is it teaching me how to play the game so much? Why? So each side of the portal could have it. And then we've got we've got a room, we've got a hill if we want to build a farmhouse on the hill. Or just here. We'll just get rid of these trees. Alright, come on, let's do it then. Let's do it. I think this might be the one. I'll invite everyone in. Chicky, are you online? Help if I spoke your name right. Not yet. Cool. How bad is it trying to get like a foundation down? Oh, pray to God they fix this soon. Make it just fucking work. It is frustrating as hell. Yeah, trying to trying to line things up. I can see why people get annoyed. It definitely that, that has changed. It definitely has. You, you used to be able to mess around with it a bit more and get it just about straight, but it does look like it's a little bit harder now. Yeah, it's just not going straight, is it? One of us do the the. I swear I've not had it this bad. Okay, well since this is mostly underwater, we don't need to worry about what the foundation looks like, do we? Like it doesn't need to be brick or anything like that. It can just be stone. How much can we get this up close? Can you blend it right in as well? Controller and mouse and keyboard are two different grids. <laughs> Excuse me. If you build on their structures, can you get it? You should not be able to. Get what? Can you change it? Oh, I'm not too sure. 
that's right. Some ruins, if you add like a blueprint to it, it basically stays there. But you can't, no, you can't change what's already here though. Stone and stuff like that. What server I'm on? This is, I am on a swamp herbarium. Okay, all right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna make this the one. Well, there we go. We have got a structure nearby where we can at least use for storage for now. And I'll put the portal down, the um, the realmic transmuter. We could always, you know what? We could just have this for prettiness as well. Like it's got lot, lots of flowers, but we could put even more grow beds in here and just make it like an amazing flower. Power. Tower. Okay, and then we'll do the realm transmuter. I'm just going to play a nice card for now. What have we got? Put the settler card down. No, the art sand cards. Exactly. Vanilla, I talk vanilla ice, everything he knows. I am the original white dude rapper. Hello! Chicky! Hello! Hello, hello, hello. Alright. Right, so let's get the layouts. Effectively, that's all I want is, I want, originally, Chicky, I was saying we should have like, okay, let me, um, let me see if I could just do a basic outline. Actually, I'll do it here. I'm going to just use foundations here for a second, just to show you what I thought. And then you guys can build it. And we'll all chip in and do stuff. Is, come on, crude foundations. Alright, so imagine this is just the, uh, this is the portal. Alright. So that's the portal. A bit more on the fly now. Oh yeah, we can just, uh, do that. And then effectively... We'll have... Yeah, maybe we... So you know what I was saying about having different sides. I was basically, I was saying, like, one side would be desert, one side would be swamp, one side would be forest. And I thought about having a central storage area where it'd be like just quite open plan, like sort of archways, a roof over it. So we've got some stations in there, crafting that you need, um, and more importantly, storage. So maybe we still do need that, maybe at one one angle. So maybe it'd be like, could be here on this bit of land. It could be that building. We could try and turn that into it, or it could be on the land over here. So. So say this is going to be our storage area. I'll raise it up a little bit just to indicate. Right, that's the storage area. So this is exactly like we're looking that way. That's where it would be. And then you've got basically smaller little sheds. And in between each shed and the portal is all our rows of crop plots. So this will be a desert little area, a box, a house, two by two, whatever we call it, just to have, just to indicate that's the desert stuff or not desert stuff. It could be fruit. It could be, we could keep fibers on one side, whatever we decide. And then, yeah, have another one. Just basically on each side, representing something. Do you know? Does that make sense? Is that good? 
I don't want just like rows and rows of crop plots that we have to run down. It'd be just easier if we know what direction we're going in to go and get like either all the fruit, all the veg. But it's it's more important is yeah fibers right because you you want forest fibers for something you want swamp fibers for something and then all around the farmhouse here the storage area we could have maybe the fruits more pretty stuff yeah is that is that a good representation <laughs> am i getting through obviously got the cave there we could have like I said, the cave could be where we could hold the dank and dark mushroom shit. So that's the, the thingy. <clears throat> the farmhouse, I guess if we've got, if this is, that's the portal. If that's the, um, the storage area hub, the farmhouse just over here. Maybe the farmhouse on the hill. Why don't we actually put the farmhouse just up the hill with a little bit of stairway? You can grow the forest fibers. Yes, Bright Hold. You can grow every item in the game. I do believe. It's a bit rocky, but with some stairs. Make it a cliff base. Just like, it, you know, I don't know. It doesn't have to be like a, a traditional farm farmhouse. It's probably going to be more for show than anything, to be honest. But there's a little flat space up here. If you wanted to do just um, a little house and then stairways leading down. Otherwise, we could have it just on the land here. Doesn't have to be like exactly straight either. That was just a rough approximation. So, like, once we clear out all these trees, this is quite a big stretch of um, land. Yeah? All right, Chicky's on it. She's like, no, stop yapping, Jay. Just get building. So yeah, that's the first thing. And then what I would like to do is, if we can, this is good, Chicky. We'll fill this up. And then we can um, show some of the water, you know. We'll, we'll build like a, like, we'll, if we can build like a, a wooden plank or just so the water looks like it's going underneath a little bridge at certain points. The thing that the only problem is we might need to it feels like this place has got too many rocks already the, the shitty rocks so we'd have to build the foundations up a bit higher just so or we have this low level and then we could always have it like stairs going up so that the next set of foundations go a little bit higher and that'll add even more to the effects that at some parts we might be going over water and stuff do you know what i mean because then that way we can build, we keep going out and we're not running into these rocks. Making it look horrible. So I think, yeah. So that's one part of the house. Nice. Two. Yeah, that works. I think that works. Just need another row of foundations on that side if we're going to do it two by two. So that's got two. Yeah, let's put another row. We we'll actually only have one, just one line going around. I'd say get rid of this, and then we'll have stairs. Or the foundations are going to be higher. Can you raise the foundations higher next to each other, or do they all connect? This is where I'm going to find out you can't. No, you can't. Shit. What if we do it? with 
rocks. I'm trying. I just want to get higher than these rocks. What if we do it like the stairs then? Just for a second, just to show. Stone stairs. No, it has to be on fun. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that would work. Yeah, yeah, so it can be foundation there. Do you know what I mean? Start and build back at a different height. Yeah, as we go out, we're basically going a little bit higher. So, we can leave this open and just on the sides make it slightly higher here. So I'm going to repair that. Yeah, because it needs to be foundation on it as well. And then we put the stairs on top. Got shack stairs. Yeah, 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 like that. Or does it does it take away the effect of the portal? Is it making the portal look diminished? Only on two sides. But then it doesn't feel very at one with the stuff. I don't know, the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm not liking it. You can put foundation on top of each other, you can. I feel like this just isn't a, a nice, flat enough. Oh, I don't know. Crop plot scan all around it. It could be good, it could be good. Just the front entrance here, leading to a farmhouse, leading to the storage area here, chop these trees down, make the pagoda here area. I feel like there's almost too many structures around. The cave. Is it just going to look like we just put a, a bowl? In the middle of all this shit. Yeah. Sorry people. I don't like it. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Trying to work out this stuff. It's too closed in. I think the I think the portal. We want it near. But I don't, it shouldn't be the centre. Unless it's on a raised bit of land itself. And then we can go and do all this stuff elsewhere. Yeah. Let's, let's get rid of what we've got. Oh no. Someone's filled it in. Was that one of the NPCs? But this is good. I don't mind. As long as you guys don't mind a bit of time wasting. We'll, fi we'll find the perfect way. Because that's what you want. You want the farm to look part of nature. We don't want it on like huge foundations that are taller than you. Otherwise you could just do that anywhere. That's not. That's the whole point. That's why I was kind of digging that first one because it had that little natural um, walkway. So we wouldn't need to raise the foundations up too much. Aesthetics are everything, right? It's if you're going to spend a long time looking at this, it's got to be right. God, I wish there was one way to remove everything. So yeah, hold fire, no one. Let's let's try one more. I'm gonna set up one more realm and we'll see what it looks like.
Yeah, it's always my big criticism, or actually, of uh, other people's builds, where they'll build like a massive like building or house, especially in Ark or Conan, and they've just basically built it on foundations everywhere. Like they've done like a fifty by fifty foundation, and just like, what's the point? But that's okay. We're learning. We're learning. We're seeing what's good, what's not good. Now, hopefully you take this stone and don't run away with it. I'll take that. You can take that. I'll take them twigs. You can have that. And you can have that. Control, alt, delete moves everything. No way. What in one go? You don't have to do it individually. Control Alt Delete. Hang on, no, that would take that would get rid of my game. How dare you? Oh, apparently I've lost my stream. Ah, oh, the game's messing me up, people. I've got to exit out. I'm gonna get this last bit of stone. We're gonna. I'm gonna restart the game. We need, we do need a flat space that doesn't have as many rocks. I don't mind some rocks on the outer edges, but I don't want to, yeah, I don't want them littering everything we do. Okay, I think that will roughly do. I'm going to head back. And then I'm going to exit out again, and then I'll set up one more. And this is the one, this is going to be the one. Involved. Quit out. Yeah, Chicky, set up another uh, Swamp Barbarian, would you? Get rid of that one. That was the right hand side, if you don't mind. Reset it. It was a um, Herbarium, not ascended, just a regular Herbarium, if you've got the cards. Otherwise, I'll do it when I get in. I've had to quit because it's the only way to fix the um, bug where you can't exit out with stuff. No, I have. I've probably just lost all my um, stuff. My restream, my Twitch, my YouTube, the whole shebang. God damn it. Hi, everyone. I'm back. Don't leave. We're gonna get there, guys. This is, um, it's gonna be worth it. This is gonna become the best farm ever. I promise. It's gotta be worth it. Do you believe? Do you believe? YouTube stay strong. Yeah, I don't think it ended the stream. Just ended all my info. I'm just like, I couldn't find anything done. Okay, right. I'm going to reset this one. Okay. No, hang on. It was... Which one was it? I think it was... Yeah, I'm sure it was this one. Wasn't it? I'm going to reset. We'll try it anyway. This is the last swamp card I got. Let's see what happens. For sure, building in the desert would have been better. 
I suppose I could have just changed my base and gone out of my base somewhere else. But I do like the idea we're really going to push it. And like I said, the, the biggest uh, thingy. I'll tell you what, I'm, while we're sitting here. Because it'd be good to get all the uh, stone. But I hope this isn't going to bring all the roofs down. Ponder. If I just do, yeah, maybe I'll do just a crude archway right there. Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay, did need support there. No. Crouch, I'm building. I'm building. For now. Food and nap. Oh, thank you, Kate. <laughs> I need the riders. No, we can't sleep. We must get farm done. We must. I'm hoping this really pays off as well. And it becomes a thing like farming gets even more improved. And, you know, it's worth it. Not just having a few grow boxes, but really going into it. A desert astro lay portal. I might have, Chicky. Why would you want... Okay, so the buy the advanced crude set. In fact, I think I've got one uh, set up. Check. Oh, I don't know. I'm sure I went to one last night. Okay, so no, no mini rocks. But otherwise, yeah, I'll, I'll drop the cards for you. I'm sure I have. Just use up one of the portals. Okay, so straight off. It's flat. There's not many rocks. There's a leading to a rise up there. On this side at least. There's a bit of land. We chop all these trees down. It's quite a bit of land here actually. Got the farmhouse. Oh, we're right onto the ocean as well. At the back here. This might be it, you know. I know it doesn't look like a sec. There's not a huge. I actually prefer there's no buildings right close to it. We could use. We could follow it around. Maybe it doesn't have to be so grid like. We've got pr enough land here to build whatever the storage, a farmhouse. In fact, it's almost a little land bridge here. Then it tails, doves off into that direction and then that direction. And then you've got a bit more just water. What are we saying, Chicky? What are we saying?
Because then if we have all the foundations down in the water, just for example. Yeah, we can almost get it just underneath. So the boxes are just floating above the plant boxes. Yeah. Ponda, we think we've got somewhere. Like it's right next to the portal. There's no loads of structures nearby, which I think I'm preferring. And, um, yeah, let's see. There we go. Oh my god. Yeah, let's, let's really eat. No, I'm not gonna, um, heal up. You starting to get wood with better stats, rocks. Yeah, go on, Stilicious. It's got to be above water enough. Yeah, yeah. Well, if this, so if these foundation, like we're going to cover this whole thing with foundations, it should be, yeah, it should be fine. There's just enough land here to build the storage. Like I said, it doesn't have to be like I planned it earlier. I'm open. I just want it to be like easy recognizable. We're gonna go in one direction for like fibers. But let's you know what, let's do it. We'll be all night. Port leads on some nice land. It's not in the water for a start. Yes, delicious, absolutely. Once you start getting tier twos, tier threes. But um Yeah. I, the more important though is upgrading your gear so when you do make don't bother with the 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 simple shit but as soon as you get a better refined set of tools go ahead and upgrade that to at least like rare and clothing as well that'll help you massively yeah and there are there's lots of clothing you can skip you don't really need to buy it all either the nttc stuff is pretty much your go-to until you get to the watch and then once you get to the watch then you've got more of a choice between what you want. I think this might be it. I think we can, we've got a little bit of a natural land bridge here. And that could be where we put the, in fact, here. There's a few rocks on that side though. Yeah, no, right here. This will be like where we have some of the storage area open area on some foundations and then we've got a little bit of water around us although it still feels a little bit small or oh, we have it right there i just want it to be able to go in each direction so i want a pagoda open area with all the storage and all the crafting and i guess we don't really need a farmhouse and then from whatever direction, either side, you've got whatever. Yeah, absolutely get your... um. Try not to get that base clothing. Make the simple gear, at least. Yeah, for sure. If you've not even done that yet, do that. Don't stick with that crude shit, for sure. Just put the first foundation down at the highest point. Okay. Let's do it. Like I said, we are going to be here all year. So, let's, don't want it too high because we don't want it to be crazily big out the water. We want it to seem like it is going to naturally be there in the water a little bit. But we don't want them rocks sticking through as well. That might be all right. If I do that, yeah, okay, it's just under the water. Now we put a farm plot on. Let's do that, that and see what that looks like. Where are the farm plots? Is it furniture? There you go, plant box. So how many can you get on one thing? See, that looks almost too high already. 
I'm tempted to go just even lower if we can. Oh, why is it doing this? Fucking game. That might be as good as we can get it. Yeah, so it looks almost like it's coming out of the water. So one foundation can hold four boxes. Yes! Yes, 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 Chiquigo. Go and get the rest of the build shit. Uh, cards. Wrong cards. Right, so Astro Lab you needed, was it? I've only got Ascended. Be lucky. I'm sure one of them portals back home might take you there. Because I went and bought that advanced set. Otherwise, just go make one. Oh, you haven't got the recipe for it either. Okay, you know what I'll do. We'll send it, ponder an invite. Then I'll come back with you to home and I'll make it there. I'll invite you to the party. I'm going to make the cards that we need. If Ponder gets here, I can make the bench, unless you've got any glass in your chicky. Just for a minute. Could do shack paths between them. Yeah, that'd be good. So, like, just keep the stone for the farming, shack for the in between. Because I would like it to grid. So, maybe we do like. So, we get four crop plots on one stone. So, that'd be if we add. Foundation. Hang on, let me keep inviting. There we go. Invite to realm. If we do, how many are we gonna do? And then a path in between them. Effectively, that's what we're looking for. Oh, not annoying at all. That keeps flipping down. I do also got to remember. I can just copy. I don't know why I'm even doing that. No. No, do you not want to copy? What's going on? Can you not copy something underwater? Yeah, copy. Oh, I've copied it. Why is it not placing them? Or maybe it is. There we go. Copy. Oh, yeah. God, that's deep enough to get the blight. So four, eight, twelve, sixteen. If we do it by like paths in between, yeah, it's probably big enough. No, we want four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four. So do two by six. So if I put another foundation here.
that should be alright with the, the boxes. So we'll have a path here. Oh, hello Grendel. Yeah, we'll try and do that. Or we'll do big rows actually. Just don't don't do it across. Just do it long for now. So we'll have like one path. We're pretty close to this portal also. Thanks, Kate, for hanging out. Cheers. Vid. Stay wet before you build it. Do you reckon? Oh, I've got I've got no seeds. Anyone got a seed? Right, is Ponder, are you in as well? Because I'll go and sort out Chicky. Yeah, I can see you. You just, just came in. Right, let me... Uh, if you do this, I'll make the estate card quickly for you. And then... It will still be here. Just in case you get disconnected. Oh, you got Astro Desert cards for Chicky? Nice. There you go. Pond's going to get it for you, and I'll stay here. I'll plan out this a little bit. So, what is going on with the water here? Okay, I'm going to start doing it properly. Let's do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, we are wet walking around in this stone. No, because it's raining. That's why we're wet. Is it disappearing? No. We're technically wet walking around. So what about up here? Or do you only get wet, dry once you've got to a fire? No, there it is. Are we wet just sloshing around here? No, I think we're all okay. This is good. We should be all right. We're not wet. Okay. And then... Have I got shack foundations? Yes, I have as well. So, if I put that down there as well... There we go. I'm doing this like literally. Lumber and beams, okay. And then if we clear these trees out, I, I guess we we got to get production, right? I've got to go and get a ton of lumber from base. Right, Ponder, finish this off with your glass, and then I can make you a dress card. Or have you been dropping it for like 10 minutes, and I've just been ignoring it? No. Nope. If you've got the glass still. Hey, perfect. Right, I'll make you the estate card. So it does work. This will work on any cards that you um, place only for that realm. I don't think the swamp is going to keep it wet. I think it's you still got water. We just I just want it to look a bit more natural, like almost like a paddy field. I know that's hard to do, but that's that's the idea is to have it low enough so it looks like part of the terrain rather than just something you built on top of it. Quite takes a while to do the uh, state cards. See, does this look a bit shit? Because it's slightly uh, like, do we make the walk? We can make the walkway a bit higher, the middle walkway at least. 
and have it just stairs coming down to the, each section. If you want to do that, Ponder. We could get rid of these. I know these are expensive foundations. So we get rid of these, put stone, and then have just like a central walkway. Because that's almost lined up with the, the uh, portal there. So we'll have this coming over to the landmass here. We'll make this the um, the main hub, the main the main open door storage area. You can't build off of it. Hmm. Okay, well, let me get this estate card. Is it finished? There you go. Right, here you go, my man. Take the estate card. Well, I presume it's this one. Forest cards, swamp cards, here we go. That's your entrance. Okay, let's try, a, let's see if we can build off of it. Maybe it's too low. Oh, and I'm dead. I'm dead. It. That's okay. So I'm going to still just place stone foundations here, but we'll build on top of them. Stone. We don't want to waste that wood. Uh, the st that stuff. Yeah. Then see if you can um, put the these foundations on top. Is the shack only stone? I swear I thought the shack was um, beam and lumber. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, one more there. Yeah, like this. And then this becomes the walkway that you put the shack stuff on top of. I've got shut foundations too. Yeah. Why am I, why am I so way down? What's going on? I've just got a ton of shit on me. Apparently. So we'll make it walk down into each paddy to pick it up. God, the pieces do look massive here, though. Then we'll do stairs leading onto this little raised bit. 
Yeah, maybe we'll make all the farm plots lower than the, the... This is like a bridge. And at the end of the bridge, we've got raised, like exactly this level, our pagoda area, our storage area. And then just all around it, below us, is all the crops growing. Oh, come on. I'm, on, I'm still heavy. What have I picked up? What I, I can't even see why I'm so heavy. That's lumber. It's lumber. And something else. Beams or something. Yes, it's the beams. Oh my god. Yeah? Yeah, I must have picked it up. I must have picked it all up. Right, my girl's picked that up. Okay. So now we'll do some stairs. Oh, I don't like these. Might have to be stone stairs. Unless there's other stairs that are more chunkier. Got spiral stairs, Tudor stairs. I'm going to do the sand stairs for a minute. We can always change it. Let's just get this central area built and then we'll, um, we can do it off of it. Yeah, that's better. No, dickhead. There we go. Cabrito, yes, I will forget. I must eat. I must eat and I must sleep. That's it. Oh, what's going on here? Why is that so wonky? Because I reckon we could literally... Is that meant to be raised? What, what are these? Oh, you've got it slightly lesser. Would that work if we put stairways to there? Almost like a bridge. You can build off to lower it. Right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Alright. Shall I try putting stairs down then? See if it looks good. Oh, 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 I see what you're saying. We'll just have this as the, the foundations going all the way along. It doesn't have to be as big. Because it does look a bit too chunky. I think you've got the right idea, man. If that works, can we just build on top of it like that now? I think I know what you're doing. You're raising the, the this not to be so high. That was good, man. How did you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying now. Yeah, that's better. That's much better, man. That feels a bit more like it's a deck running down. Oh yeah, I see it's not technically connected up either. And then, I did have all that lumber. I think one of the NPCs has picked it up. Come here, Nelly. Do you not just want to finish it off, Nelly? Yeah, I'll take that then. Thank you very much. That's it, Nelly. Do you want to get out? Thank you. Yeah, good shit. Good shit. Come out of the way, Nelly. Is 
it ever going to build? Am I in the way? There we go. Oh, that looks nice, you know. It feels swampy. And I quite like that. We could just have little stairways going down to some of these. So let's stick with this ponder. Let's keep building this to this middle bit. And let's expand it a bit now to go wider. And we'll make that the central pagoda. If we do it by... Do it lengthways. Because then we're using up some of this land here on the right. And it looks more natural. Do it by... From this point at the pier. Three forward. No, four forward. Four on the sides. Four on the sides. Well, I'll do that. I'll, I'll lay it out. So, one, two, three, four. So, one, two, three, four. No. Nope. I am going to just get rid of this tree quickly. Oh. Oh, it sucks. There we go. And yeah, we can have just little steps down, going into like some of these. We'll, we'll do that last. Let's get the central structure set up. Pagoda, because then we've got a fence over our heads. And then we can um, put the benches down we need. Because we're going to need lumber mills here and stuff, really. It'll be quicker and easier as well. Oh, no, no. Don't do that, JG Wally. Yeah, so that's two by two. I'm going to add another... Three levels, four levels. Oh, this is better. It's one, two, three. In fact, one more. Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, where is my girl? What you got on you, girl? Oh, you ain't got much. You've got lots of stone. That's it. Okay. Let me get this set up. I do need to sleep as well. Let's get a bed down. Hey. Rested. Everyone's like, yes, finally. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. The tree might disappear eventually. No, just piss off with you. Come on. Oh, it's been laggy, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to kick in in a minute. It's going to be like, no. Come on. What's going on with this bloody game? Half hour later, wow. 
You gotta get rid of the um the stumps, otherwise they regrow. I'm pretty sure. Ah oh, fuck you, man. That's what I was trying to do. I'm gonna clear out. I've learnt my lesson. Okay, that's it. I swear these trees weren't here a minute ago when I did this. Ow. Stumps out. Is that another one there as well? Yeah, it was. Okay, that's better. I didn't realise plant fibre was so big. Oh, it's because of that. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Kill me trees. That tree's going mad. No, I can't jump. And you've got a bunch of shit on you already. Is that gonna help me? Can I now jump? Yes, I can. Okay. Right, I'm going to head back. I'm going to get some wooden stuff coming back. You can come and leave as you want now as well. So yeah, so this is going to be our main crafting hub here. I don't think we need a manor house. In fact, I'm looking at this already and that's too long. That's just perfect size. We'll have it... Yeah. Oh, no. Don't mean to do that. Got seed test seeds. Why is it not let me autofill? Surely I just should have picked up a bunch of wood from that and everything. I feel like I've been done out of beams there. Yeah, that's a bit more appropriate. I think that's all the space we'd need. For storage, some crafting, that'll be it. Okay, so fibre, we need fibre, lots of lumber. I'll be back. Also, I'm going to need a chest to drop out. I want to go bigger. I don't want just these. I want to go push it further out. I'm already thinking, oh, this is still too small. Like, I want a whole freaking farm as far as the eye can see here. Mostly going out that way. The beams don't refund when you destroy it. Oh, no. That is no good. 
Right, so be careful where I place the beams. I'm going to put another chest down. For now. Okay, maybe I don't. Let's go back and get some resources. Oh, example, vid guy. Also, thanks for the followers. I didn't pay attention there. Deep, deep into it. Hopefully this is good. Hopefully this is worth it. I guess you could look at the maps more and say, right, is that going to be a good spot? That's like pretty flat. Obviously, we know there's a big mound there. The real locust. Nice trick for farming tier 5 wood. I'm lacking you out, Ponda. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what we... So I, we, I kind of found, I think, a better place. The first one we had. Um, but... It... Was too far from the thingy. Yeah, I like this. I like this. It's good, it's good, it's good. Oh, finally. But I do. I want to be able to go right, left, all tier 5 fibres or all desert stuff. Right, all tier 4 or, or forest. And I think we can still use the land behind us as well. A little bit more. Right, let's go. And get more of what we need. So we need a ton of lumber. And I will make a ton of... Um, beams. Also, it's about time I dump everything I've got on me. I don't need to make any more cards, do I? We'll come back for, like, yeah, all this other stuff that I might not need in a minute. I do. Okay. Not me swamp wood. What do you need for beams? Like, what is the main thing? Lumber and straps. Fuck. Okay. I'll get the straps going as well, straight away. Chit in tier 2 bug, yeah that'll do. And you got to make it into chit in the side first. Okay, well we'll do that. And what do we need for especially more? The plant boxes. What's the plant boxes need? Don't really want to use up the best wood here. Yeah, there we go. Wood bundle, 200 that. We'll make a ton of lumbar. I haven't got the Apogee cards. We need to play that. I'll be getting double bubble right now. Just plain lumber. Gotcha. Get a bunch of stone as well. Right, that's taking a while. Have I got a second one? No, I haven't. Okay, let's get the stone. I haven't got loads of stone. Just... We need something to be able to convert rocks into to make it more useful. But 
yeah, we'll take it with us. What I've got. Oh, no, I don't want to be using this stuff up. That's like the best stone I've got. I swear I gave my helper like a ton, didn't I? Let's empty you as well. We can drop it all back. Thank you. See you nice and empty. Well, I should load her up, really, shouldn't I? That's what I should be doing. And just regular fibre too. Yep. Where's she gone? No. What are you doing in there, love? 30 per stone, that's the point. They've got rid of the uh, exploit now, though, haven't they? Yeah, I'll put that back on you for a minute. In fact, you can take all this too. I'll keep that swamp wood and I'll just get rid of this a second. That's good. Right, I'm saying. Okay, that's good. That lot's done. Yeah. You can take that because that's going to be pretty heavy. Not for me, though. 68 hired. That might be enough. Make it into straps now. Yeah, get 140. Okay, that's cooking. And just more wood, I guess. I'm never going to use this tier 2 wood up. In fact, the tier 2 wood can go and just be made. Same with the forest wood as well. One point though, have I got the settler cards, the eminent? I haven't maybe got the epigean, but yeah. Building materials and crops. It works, does it only work for carved wood? Or I'm sure it works for other stuff too. I'm going to put another tra trans transmuter down. So we need ingots, lumber, wire. Are you just filling it up while you're... Yeah, you are. Three ingots and some wire. I feel like my realm's much brighter. Like, it's the colour palette's different. Saw and hearth. That's right. That's got to be proper, proper ores. Because it doesn't work otherwise. Actually, oh, you know what? Just use that. There we go. Yeah, I've got a settler. That's better than nothing. Yeah, it's stupid that I'm not using 
I'm getting a little bit of extra there. I can't remember the Apogee card. You can buy it, can't you? I can't. I don't know why I didn't. I haven't picked it up yet. I've done like a video. Some more lumber for you to carry. Okay, you're putting your foot up now. And that's nearly done. Lots of straps. Okay. And I'll take some more ingots with us as well to make for boxes and hinges. Should I have a bunch of hinges somewhere? Oh, I've got one. These are going to be the bestest looking boxes ever. Yeah, a lot of the tier 5 stuff isn't. It's slightly less than tier 4 in some of the stats. I'm not quite sure why. Um, in tier 2 bug. Yeah, I'll carry on making the rest of that kite into the uh, fibre. The hide. There we go. And I think we've got anything else. We're just going to plant literally everything we can. Literally everything we can. I don't really need to. Just want to make it look like an impressive farm. And then it will become useful once we've got everything. But I want to um, I want to have food growing. I want I want everything. Everything. Right, this will do. I'm going. I'm, let's go. Going to the portal. The ascended astrolabe forest has set up gene. Commander Tater Tot, you're a ledge. Thank you. I'll go and get that in a minute. It was that one, weren't it? Yes, this is the one. Milton, you're from Uruguay. I don't understand much English, but I follow you because you make good content. Now I'm in the game. Could you help me please with a letter that doubles the craft and materials for my kingdom? That's exactly what we're talking about. And someone's just put the answer in YouTube chat. So, ascended astrolabe forest. That has the letter, the cards that you need. Is no one in uh, Uruguay doing lots of like Nightingale content? Like, what's the content creation like in U Uruguay? What are people doing? And we can make all this pretty. We can put plant pots. We can put some grow boxes. Maybe even down the middle, or uh, just more stuff. Yes, like when the plan comes together. So that's the lumber. Um, oh, I was meant to be making beams, weren't I? Okay, well, I bought something over at least. I'll, I'll, I'll drop some more stuff in these chests. Now, what have you got on your... I just oh you've got it shimmering we need like just an ingot anyone got an ingot oh yeah got some bronze no don't use up your best ingots here man well we'll break it down in a minute let's get we can always get these fixed up in a minute there you go right i'm gonna put stone in one box so we're not confusing shit wood in another yeah There you go, wood and everything else in the other one. So there's loads of straps there. No, I need the straps for the beams and I need to take the lumber back with me to get more. That's what I'm meant to be doing. Okay, back. Okay. 
And we could, you know what? We could have a, a farmhouse, Chicky, if you do want to build something like that. Maybe we haven't got enough space to really set it out, like I said, with like a shed on either side. We don't need it really, do we? We'll do that last. Let's set up the very first part of this sort of farm area. You've got tons of shimmer Nice. Okay. Yeah, Vid, that's exactly what happened to me. This was my. That's why I've lived in here and I'm not changing anything because we had the Apogee card playing for so long. Um. Yeah, I really should go and get that card. I know it's a ball eight people. I know, I know. But if I go and get it now, then it's done. And I've got what we need. So, Ascended Astrolabe Forest. I'm just going to put it on a medium. Yeah, you got refined sort. Nice. Okay, I'm coming over. If we play that card here or there for the moment, and then we're getting double bubble. Can you use your own estate card to make sure you never lose your farm? I mean, if you have the estate card in your realm cards. Yeah, it should do. It should do. So, for whatever reason, you've forgotten what the combination was, or you reset, in theory... If you look, if you play the same card, and it tells you what card was where you're going, it should take you to where you need to go. Yeah. No, did you not want to open up for me? You got lumber mill cards. Okay, cool. I'm going to get the Apogee one for here then, because I don't really want to keep doing shit without it. Oh, Jesus Christ. All this sorting. Thank you. You know what? I've just realised YouTube. I don't know what's going on today, but there's like close to 40, nearly 50 people been watching steadily me just do fairly bog standard stuff. So I appreciate you hanging and watching out. And Twitch, of course. We've got like 30 people in there. It's a bit of a boring stream today. I'm about to renew my Epidemic Sounds on this channel. I've got it up on another channel at the moment. So I will have some better music. Maybe. If you like that. Although, to be honest, I, will, I don't... I'm not a big fan. Some games you need it. Some games for sure. But I do prefer having the music. What is going on? I do prefer the game music. But yeah, I could sort out a little bit of this. So it's just better organised. Okay. Alright, is it opened? I think it's opened. I've got some more hinges there. I'm just going to put that away in there for now. As long as this is roughly in the right point. I think I've stolen from Ponder. I'll give him back in a minute. Yeah, put this all away where it belongs. And put this meat. So we've got a few leather straps there. Let's go. It's not opening. Why is it not opening? Right, I'm going to stand in and watch it. You can't attach any more stone foundations to put boxes down. I wonder why.
Yeah. Well, that's it. This is why, because there's a couple more rat bags said they wanted to do something like this. So now we can all join and do a bit of work on it or just come back and get your farm, your crops you need. All right, I'm not moving people. Is it, does it look like they're not there? And it's just because it's under the water. Because that's what it was doing to me, Chiki. I was just going off by just pressing it. In a way. Might have a space limit. It stayed red, and once destroyed one, I could place one. Hmm. Alright, I'll come over and check it out in a minute. Let me go and sort out my life. Mean didn't have to kill him there, did I? Oh, I will kill you guys. No, nope. leave me alone. No, I hope this works out. I hope it's gonna look nice. I'm like second guessing myself now, going, Why are you doing all this bother? Should have just built it in the desert. Do you really need to? Or the or or you know the swamps. No, uh, the swamps, the um, forest. Yes. Charm on the builder. That's got to be like the worst charm going. Why do you want to increase your move? I guess I guess it is for building. Oh. I'm gonna buy it anyway. I'm basically buying everything else. Nectar? Yeah, go on in. Some stuff I'm leaving as a reward. Like, I just don't need to. I'm hoping eventually it will just give it to me. Do you get oil here? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Put it on a hammer. Yeah, that'd be good. And just run around. I have not repaired a single item. I don't I've not even crafted a hammer yet. Okay. And now I do the apogee and cards. Uh, Don's, the followers, I've lost two of them already. In fact, f need, I think three of them. She she might be my third or fourth recruit. So I just don't bother. I'm OP enough. I don't need them to do anything for me, really. I've been playing with others, doing vault runs and stuff. So until they get a bit buffed, it's just a bit pointless. But good question to ask. Absolutely. Gilded lumber. There we go. Beautiful man. Beautiful. Nah. I should have done this first before I went and started making stuff. You've made a hammer. That's right. You can make hammers. I don't need to. 
The trees will wreck in your newly built base. Ah, oh, rip. Yes. Yeah, you know what? Wait for me. You made one with the folded in guts and gave it to my fuller and he starts breaking all my augments. Not sure they do a regular one, but beware. Can you imagine if that was what was happening? Anyone that's been cheating and cheesing, they're, um, they're NPC. Oh, just like that. They're NPC, goes around destroying shit. That was the last bullet and all. That's a perfect example of why I'm not allowed to touch shit. I'm going to reset this realm straight away. No, maybe you'll need it. Chicky, if you want to go and get that. I don't know if you've got the Apogee card, but there you go. What am I doing? I could play the cards. Why am I just sitting here? There we go. Play the Apogee card. No? Did I not pick it up? Here we go. Okay, right, beams, 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 beams. That's what I was meant to be making. Need lumber now. I've got fourteen beams, I'll take that as well. T1 forest woods, let's make that into a bunch of lumber as well. You got the, the lumber on you? No. I'm gonna take all this wood and sort it out quickly, briefly as well. Do you know what? I think we're gonna be alright for some of this. I'm gonna just use this now. Advance you. Yeah, let's take a hundred you. Get these beams going. Boom, hundred beams, lovely. I'm open. You know, like we've left it. No, we need farm space. I do want it to look like a farm, rather than just a building with farm plots around it. So that means having more priority for, yeah. Crop plots, for sure. Okay, two five, two four, two four, two two. Now get rid of that. Two one, get rid of that. Put two four back in there. That's good. Eighty four beams, nice. I've got forty two seventy there. And what have we got here? Oh, I've got straps here as well. I'll take them over. No, I'll do them there. Yep, can make beams here. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I'll do. Okay, I'm going to head over.
Yeah, imagine it. Your NPC just goes crazy and starts blowing up your base because you were cheesing and cheating. Oh, I live for moments like that. I feel like something that maybe like Hell Divers will do. So if they ever come across like an exploit, they'll just make the gun explode in people's hands. Because I think they've got that already, right? There's like a gun that does that. Oh. Oh, why am I waiting down? Where? There you go. That's nicer. It's 14 beams. Is it filling up or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is pretty much what I imagined. And we'll even just go bigger if we can. We'll put foundations down. But I think you guys were saying it was stuck, right? This is good. This is good. Is portal pistol fast to reload than Webley? No. But it's obviously got more bullets. So that's why it's the better pistol. It only does slightly less damage. So in my opinion, it's the second best gun after the um, Winchester. Is that going? Can, I'm not, am I going to fit two on here? Just about. cry if I can't place it. This is why it was important we didn't have loads of rocks sticking out. Still, it would be nice if we can come up with a visual way to say, like, this is what this is going to have in it. I mean, I know the plants will do that, but some of the plants look exactly the same. I'm, I'm not being stupid, people, but uh, they do. Some of the plants are, like, literally fibres. So whether it's decorations or whether it's, um, like I said, the shed... I ain't gonna lie, it's gonna kind of bug me that stairway's there and not right here in the middle. Can we get one in the middle? Or at least just have it double. Yeah, why is, why is, why have we got it? Yeah. Let me think, let me think. He currently is the high-level shotgun without fault. It still does crazy damage to staggers. Yeah, it's a good one, Chua. I tried using it the other day. It was all right, but on on an extreme level, I felt like it was still kind of not great. But no, to be fair, I hadn't upgraded it. That was the problem. So yeah, you're right. Maybe if I upgrade mine, it'll do a lot more damage without juicing. No, just want to, don't, just want to do that one. That's why, because the foundations weren't exactly in sync. So if I put another one here...
and then and then I think that's it. Stone, got any stone blocks? One or oh, Chicky's making friends. Getting a ton of uh, nectar, I'm guessing. There we go, that's what we want. Bit of stone. That's where you want it to level it out with foundations, but it won't let you. Out. Okay. Let me have a look, see if it works. Yeah, seems all right. Oh, I need more lumber. That's almost perfect, actually. Like, dead on center. So free there. Although this is a bit bigger, but yeah. Need, like, half foundations. It's because, yes, yeah, because these foundations aren't, they're not connected in the, the grid with the walkway. But it's not the end of the world. We'll just do three. We can do one more row. Probably to turn in the sound effects up even more. I don't know if you lot can hear them, but that's at least a bit peaceful and quiet. And I would say, so I mean, we've got here that's so nine, no, three, six, nine, twelve. So that's three, six, nine, twelve, twenty-four. Yeah, that could work. That could work. I like the idea of having a bit of water in between as well. It does just make it all feel a bit more natural. Doing good, people. Doing good. The Winchester's got 14 bullets as well. It's better than Lee Metford. Because the Metford's only got 12, I think, or 8. And yeah, only does slight. It's quicker. Yeah, it's definitely better. For sure, for sure. Right. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. If you use the realm card in Transmunia, can you reset your realm? Yeah, but it will reset. If you reset your cards for the realm, it gets rid of everything on that map. So your your transmuter will go. So make sure you take your transmuter manually. Is that what you was asking? Uh, wax stick out of control. You craft a state card, put it in a chest in someone else's realm, then joins that realm with a second tune of yours. You should be able to move between your own realms. Herbert, Nimble, no. Well, yes. So this is what I made a mistake and I wasted a bit of time when I first started playing Nightingale. Um, no, we're going bigger, people. We've got to go bigger. I need more. I need more crop plots. Um, yeah, we've got... Um, I built an antiquarian. My theory was if I build an antiquarian, I can just get um, a ton of T1 essence straight away instead of only getting essence dust. So I didn't mess around. I went and got straight antiquarian forest or, and built my home there, a desert. But every time you do that and you load through your, your thingy, you always spawn back at the large portal. So it makes it redundant. And because you can't set another realm up as your abeyance, you still end up spawning at a large realm. So your question, you won't spawn back at the small portal. You always spawn at the large one. Unless it's your respite. So no, yeah, you can't play realm cards in Transmuter, no. No, no, what are you talking about? Yes, 
Yeah, my bad. Not realm cards. Minor cards. Minor cards are the only thing that you play at Transmuter. Okay. I'm going to fill up these boxes then. That's what we're saying. Like one. Three, four. Maybe we'll just do like here. Yeah, we'll do the outline first. Can we fit another one on? Yeah. You have two separate characters. Each of them are built decent bases, right? Right. Oh, you might be able to. I don't know. That I've not tested, but I get the idea. In theory, you'd have to... So you'd have to have someone else set their respite on your home. Because when you log out, you won't be able to log into that world with that character. Or can you log into the same world with two different characters? I presume not. Unless you've got the state cards. Yeah, like you said. You'd have to play it. But yeah, you'd have to use someone else's home to drop the card off. And then be able to visit their home with both characters, maybe. Maybe, yeah, no, I'm over here. Everyone can have the same spot at the same base with the piggy. Yeah, no, you're right, Herbert. It could, it could work. What's up, hello, fella? I'm not going to lie, Chucky. It's slightly bugging me. It's slightly bugging me why we didn't go down the middle with the stairs. Or did it? Is that the middle? Am I just being derpy? Maybe it is. Why does it just feel so off? Got two in there. Two in there. I oh, will leave it. Oh, everyone wants to rest. Is it night time? Maybe another day, Herbert, for science. I'll help you out. Now, you know what? We'll um, we'll put a decoration here. We'll have something in wheelbarrow or something. Yeah. Just something. 
then we'll keep it more or less tight. Okay. Right, we need a ton more lumber. I'm going to go back and get more lumber. See, that looks good. I like this. We do the same on this side. That'd be great. Literally do the same, if you can. Let's come together. Where, where are you going with this uh, staircase? I'm not seeing these spiral staircases. Yeah. Yeah. Could do like, um, make it straight. Make it a balcony area to overlook the plants. Right. Back home. Let's go and get more. Hang on. Have I got any resources on me that I can dump off? Yeah, a bit of fibre still. Hayloft. It's a barn. That's right. Good thinking. Oh, yeah, you've got the um, lumber card. So it does the same job, right? It does do two. Is that what you said? For the sawmill. Mm. What do you need to do? Once you've placed it, Michael VT, that's it, it's done. But shouldn't I get 18 from that then? Is it the Apogean one you've got or just the regular? Because I only think it works with the Apogean that you get double bubble. We went for Herbarium Swamp. I'm going to go back. Well, it would be great, wouldn't it, Herbert? Let's go and get all your resources and stuff. But yeah, once you place it down, that's it. That becomes your respawn point if you die. Doesn't come your respawn point if you just teleport in. I don't know why, but... That's the way it rolls. Lots of rain, right? What card are you going to play once farming? I think definitely the farm or greenhouse card. It seems to be raining enough. We'll have to plant it all, though. Really, see, mine's not working then. It's supposed to be in a particular place or by a particular something. It's just wherever you placed it, right? You fairy ring? Yeah, it should be. But like I said, only if you die. No worries, Michael. Glad you're enjoying it. I said, I'm warning people. Once Valheim's here, I'm not going to stop Nightingale. I'm going to try and do at least two streams a week. But for the first, you know, four or five days, I'm going to be pushing out nothing but Valheim. It's Settler Apogean. Yeah, it's got to be the Settler Apogean one for two times lumber ingots. Yeah, cheers, kid. What we found is that with the... Apparently, for what we've learned tonight is that the Tempest card does work. But sometimes it only fills up some of your crop plots by 50% or 99%. So you still got to run around doing a tiny bit. Which sucks. So I'm sure that's just a little bug that will get fixed in the future. Okay, I think we've got enough beams now, to be fair. I'm just going to make nothing but lumber. And it might be a good idea to use um, the reclaim method to get more. I think Michael meant same as in once Valheim's here, he might be jumping on that. It's better than having to walk. Yes, I bet. Because you've got to spend like two minutes there. Well, that's it. Is the swamp. I guess we need some seeds, right? We need to test it out and see how effective it is with the swamp always raining. I 
I have it down right side my main building by my portals. Maybe that's why it's getting confused with the respite stone. If your respite stone is there, maybe it just doesn't like it. I've used it a couple times and it was when I visited another realm and I was on a really hard difficulty early in the game and my fate, the fate tower was kicking my ass. Couldn't get, finish it off one of them. So I set it outside and that, that worked a treat. Right, um, we need, I need food, that's what I need. Right, if you try and harvest ASAP, the bug happens. So the trick is to make enough plots to make it worthwhile. So you just build a large farm realm, go there, plant hundreds, 150 seeds, go and do your business. Then you come back after 30 minutes and harvest. You can do so without the bug. Nice. That's what I thought. But every time I die, it sends me my... I don't understand it. Right, that's a bit of an issue with the, the respite stone. Try breaking it and replay, and putting it down again. I've had that happen to me loads of times. It happened to me a lot in the preview that I was playing. Okay, a bit more lumbar. We'll keep going with the lumbar. Fat. I'm just going to use up all this lumbar. I don't think I'm ever going to use half of it. No, that's lumbar. Yeah. Reclaim lumbar, that's it. A double our output. That's done what I'm messing around for making just wood out of normal regular lumber. Do that. Get two hundred a pop. That's it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Oh, I'm quite heavy though. Where's my NPC? There you are. Now, take this, would you? And I don't need this card stuff. So it's a time thing and eventually it fills up. Might be, yeah. Okay. Um, do you want to take any more wood with me? What else have I got? I've got just more junk here. Oh, it's only ones. I'm going to get rid of that. And these bones. I've got plenty of beams now. Okay. Yeah, I, some people really want the um, teleport around, like it's fast travel, but I don't know. You do that, then you're never going to have any encounters. It's a bit, a bit like Valheim. Having the ability to transfer your stuff through portals just takes away that element of like something can happen and that something can happen might be the best part of the game where you lose your stuff and you've got to have a venture to get it back or you get attacked by a sea serpent. Oh. Oh. So what card are we playing now? We could play a better card soon if you wanted to do more building stuff. If you see the walk bug, you did it too quickly and must restart the process. So even if you harvest after that, it's not going to just do it for you. Oh, she's planted stuff already. That's grown super quick. Right, we've got to have order though, people. What, what are we going to have as the settings for it? Fruits and veg along here in the middle. And then only growing tier 5, tier 4 fibres on the left or the right. 
Um, Okay, we have it there. We left one right in the middle. You know what? I'm going to do this for a second, and just so that I can have a nice walkway. As the default spawn point, yeah. Oh, chicky! You just face planted in front of me. <laughs> what happened? What happened there? No, I don't want you building these yet, you dickhead. I'm just planning out my oh, I'm planning out my my build. Okay, actually, I want that like there. No, piss off. Stop being so goddamn helpful. There we go. No, no, no. Yeah, you can do that one. He died hunger. Should not be able to get another one on there. Should be free, right? Okay, what about that side? Have I got to add another foundation down? Oof. At the fairy ring. I guess there's got to be a mechanic, though. Say you do place your um, fairy ring down, but you're not happy because, um, yeah, you know what? I've messed this up a little bit. It's the way the foundations are. Um, say something's too hard and you can't do it, but you keep spawning at a fairy ring now. Now you've got to go all the way back. Is that why they they maybe did it? Can I... Uh... Lag. Yeah, there we go. That's better. That's all right, Ponta. That's all right. We'll sort it out. We'll sort it out. It's no big eight. Doesn't have to be totally uniform. Do you know what? I, I do like some builds that aren't completely um yeah, uniformed all the way round. Again, makes it look a bit more natural. Especially if we're working with the environment a little bit more. Our NPCs are all stuck. They can't get up. True, true, true.
it drove me wild a little bit that um, Enshrouded didn't have a fast travel. Uh, like only the set points, you couldn't use one of them flame altars to have one. I thought that would have been perfect spot to really do that. Oh, messed up there, didn't I? Messed up there. And these ones, what the hell? What the hell, Jade? That's just a bit too wonky. I know it's like I'm being super anal. Super, super anal. Is it just being slow? Is it going to spawn eventually? Maybe not. do put the fence in round as well have I got the fence in maybe I don't let's have a look I've got oh no I have I have I have it's the shack ravings you used right yeah nice Oh, it's rope. 18 rope. Shut the door. Okay, we'll get to that eventually. Do, 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 do. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Pull that one in. One there as well. Bro, who's. You made all that rope. Rope is expensive to make. Fair play. There we go. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Maybe this needs a little walkway. No, we'll go bulk. We'll go bulk. Let's do bulk. It's going to make it look pretty you now, just little walkways going up. But no, come on. So I wanted this. And we can always expand this as well. Because I, I mean it. I want to go even bigger. Even bigger. I want this whole fucking swamp turned into one big farm. Do one of them. Uh, is it Let's Game It Out thumbnails? Where he's like done something incredibly like pointless but interesting for the thumbnail, for the video. Chicky's sciencing this up, I'm sure. She's doing something here. Okay, right. So we need more lumber. I'm going to go back and get more lumber. Uh, where's my girl, Nell? You had stuff on you, though, didn't you? Now you've got it all. What are you doing, now? Why aren't you filling out my shit? She's sitting on a ton of um, string as well. Oh no. Oh no. I'm going to drop some. I'm only realising today that you can just extract like that rather than um, having to choose every individual item. This one, I feel like, like you've got to go the whole hog. Maybe this one should be even. Like stairs going down. Straight down the middle. So before you place anything else, ponder. I'm gonna I'm gonna just do that there. We'll make this one this one bigger here. Sorry man. <laughs> it's like you son of a bitch. How fucking dare you. I've got stairs. I got it. I'll i I'll fix it up. There you go. 
can't fill it up though because I've got no stone blocks. But yeah, yeah, I'm still do the stone pillar actually. I see what you're doing there. You got a stone pillar, okay? There we go. Yeah, and then yeah, we'll make this this one larger. Standard. I should have a link, my man. Try the um, command. I think it's working. You need lots of mortar stations. Why? What are you doing, Chicky? What are you making? You can go and grab the ones from our base if you want. I don't know if whatever you're making, we can double by doing it with the Apogean card. I've got the Apogean card here. Should I just play the Apogean card? It's going to be better than what we got, really. Where did I put the Realmic Transmuter? Or did I dismantle it? Try now. Do uh, exclamation mark standard. And Alpha Seeds. Yeah. There you go. Nightbot must have heard you. Oh, Herbert did it. Herbert did it. So, again, I'm going to do the same thing. No, I'm going to do it from the edges. I'll build out this way. Foundations first. It Chris, thanks for the follow. Get rid of that tree there for a minute. Yeah, this one's gonna be a big one. So we've got three. It's got four on this side, four on that side. Yeah, that'll do. In fact, I'll get rid of this after all. And we'll just go slightly longer. Yeah, this is going to be the big one. This will be for the wheats. We'll have like tier fives and tier four wheats here. I feel like. Right, increasing the seeds. So, do you want the farming card on instead, then? Because that will get you more seeds. Play the card that's got the, the best seed ratio, right? That's what we should be doing. Ibcrest, greetings to you too in Spain. I presume it's nice and hot in Span? Espanol? I ain't been to Spain. Well, I ain't been to Spain that many times. I've only been to Alicante once. Way back, way back when. Yeah, play, play a different card. Play a farmer card or whatever. Have we got the realm of transmuter? Shall I place one down? And then we'll just build it up. And place it like right there. Three ingots and a bit of wire. Two ingots. Okay, we ain't got ingots. Anyone's got any ingots? Fill it up. 
we've got here. What we got going here? Yeah, this is like it. Ponder. Storage, 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 all the way. Okay. Right, I've got my job to do, which is get these foundations finished. Ooh. Nice. Okay. And then I'm going to get all the plots down. So this one, I'm going to go now. Do you want to get your ass out of the way, please, love? Yeah, four, four across. That would be perfect. Oh no, hang on, but you've got this funky one here. I am going to say that back wall looks a bit off there anyway. We'll have the rope thing there instead. And because I've just realized you've got these overhangs here, I'll get rid of these. So we can have the same overhangs here too. Cerebrus, thanks for the clove in about the gear. I was midway trying to figure out some of the fine details about how the stats works when you came out. It's only me a lot of maps trying to figure out. No worries, Cerebrus, no worries. The only thing I would say is there are still some sets that have maybe slightly better stats. Uh, not stats, but have got magic. I think I said in that video that only hats maybe have it. I can't remember if I did. Maybe I did say other stuff has magic. No, I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. But yeah, I made my magic build last night. Finally. It was alright, it was alright. I did the job. 234 magic now. That's the highest I've got. No, piss off, Jew. No, it's looking more off. Hang on, I'll do it sideways. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it just there. So we've got four. That's the idea. And we need them. Ponda, can you? Oh no, no, I can. Maybe I can do it. Can you photocopy? Oh, I haven't got the recipe. Can you put these advanced little balconies you've got here on this side for me to match it? If you don't mind, sir. I'll fill it up. Just do the blueprint if you want. Yeah, not stairs. Just, just on this side. Right here and here, please. Thank you, sir. Is that rope blocking it? Legend, thank you, thank you, thank you.
she out of the way? What does it need? Plant fiber. She's got tons of plant fiber on her. I've got it. I've got the plant fiber. There we go. Okay, good shit, good shit. Got our first full side of tomatoes. Nice. Yeah, we should, honestly, guys, we should play the farmer cards or something for a while. If you're doing the seeds, I'm sure one, if like, if you want more seeds, if you don't need them anymore, then fine. I need to be closer. That would help. I might have to go across just to make sure it's lined up because it will really bug me if it's slightly off. So, do one like this. Yeah, that looks almost spot on. I'll just mix it up a little bit here. No one's going to notice here. Aesthetic reasons, really. I don't think they do anything more. The pots, they're not not—they're not better than the pots, are they? They're all, they're all exactly the same. You're about to blow my mind and tell me that pots are better. Um, but yeah, this is a complete farm realm. I've wanted the idea that we, 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 we're sharing this with a few other rat bags. And we're literally building the biggest farm we can get. Effectively. I'm probably going to get rid of... That one, I don't need them free. Let's just keep building up this way a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Oh, it's overlapping quite a bit there. There we go. They don't give as much fruit. And give us more seeds. Oh, is that is that right, Chicky? I need to learn all this because eventually, that's the point as well. I'm going to do a farming guide. This is a bit nuts. How many plant boxes we've got going on here? Okay, that's it. Oh. No, I'm way down. I can't get up. No, no. Pots save lots of room for the space. Yeah, yeah. Go, my start. Anyone I had to stop my view from sliding down when I'm running? Your view? Oh, I don't know. Does it just keep doing light when you're doing something? Right, I'll get rid of that one. There we go. Right, I'll fill these up now. been growing I would grow tier 5 fiber yeah don't apply it yes it does Cerebus it needs a lot of work the um, descriptions and stuff for making it easier at first glance for sure for sure 
It starts to look skyward. Oh no, I ain't heard that. I've had that maybe in a menu. Yeah, when I'm looking down the menus, that happens to me a lot. It just starts scrolling. That's mad. To what we could do. Now you just mentioned about the pots. Maybe we can use that to advantage Chicky and have like an area where there's nothing but pots. Is there anything that looks like just glass? Probably not. But maybe we can make it almost look like a greenhouse. Uh, herbarium. Yeah, uh, terranium. I don't know. Maybe we could that maybe that could be a project, Chicky, if you want. We need a, like, a little off building just where we're growing the special herb, you know. The special the special herbs. Do you need anything special for T fire fiber? Just convert to seeds and plant. Yeah, you should think so. I don't think you need to do anything else. To be honest, most people are saying that farming's not worth it. You could just sit there and use the regrow spell once you get it. But it's the point, you know, you want to don't really need huge bases looking fantastic. You just needs a box with a roof and storage. It's about making it look nicer. The hemp. Yes, Fonda, yes. Yes, there is hemp in the game. So why don't we have like a special building? I'll let you've done this part, maybe if Chicky wants to. Flex her build skills if she if she doesn't want to, that's no problem. Um on a hemp house. That'd be quite funny. Good offshoot. You've got your building here. We could make it just like another set over here on land. So we're not using too much more of the water. Got quite a lot of space here as well. If we chop all these trees down, we could definitely build the farmhouse here if you want. Like make a more decorative place to live. Just for the looks. <clears throat> the build limit is 250 out of 350 so far so it's not too bad I think the way Ponder's kind of separated some of this we, we're going to be alright you've set like different angles for the, 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 the walkways Ponder and some of these foundations are slightly off as well. That's actually helping with our space, so like that. That's technically, I'm sure that's not considered part of that. In fact, look, yeah, we've got 27 separate structures on this realm. Oh, yeah. It feels good in the swamp. It feels like this is meant to be in the swamp. Little water splashing about in certain spots. No, it doesn't. No, my bad. Yeah, it doesn't. Regrowth doesn't work on fibers. I'm chatting shit. It only works on trees. I'm being an idiot. You white widow super cheese, yeah? Real dank skank. Skunk, skank, skunk, real skank, skunk. Dank, skank, skunk. Thirty quid an ounce. This one I want for the fibers, people. We'll have plants and and veg all over the place, and we can go bigger. Like I mean it. We're gonna do more. We can have a whole just one section dedicated to one blueberries or... We've got to work out, actually. Maybe we should do that. Should we put in a chest, Chicky, when you get a chance? Whack in a chest exactly what berries you've got on you so we know exactly how many plants we've got to grow. And then we can work out how many sections we need. If they're going to share a section, some of them... That would be good for my video too. Oh, that's the title of the video. 
I built a massive weed farm in Nightingale. Come on. <laughs> Instant demonetization. Now, have you not got any lumber on you? Did I take it all from you? Apparently I did. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back and pick up the rest of the lumber and I'll be back in a minute. Oh, yeah, look, it's looking nice, looking nice. Man, it's growing super quick. Make it educational. Yeah, that's right. Do drugs, kids. S don't stay in school. Standard, you've got your own thing going on. Otherwise, I, I would have invited you to this one. Four ingots. I shall bring ingots. Tooth sweet, chicky. Tooth sweet. Do 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 It'd be cool if you could grow trees. Really get into it. I know it's pointless though, you can regrow the trees, but yeah. Right, uh, you want ingots and we need lumber. I've got 140. Why didn't it give 200 like it was meant to there? Yeah, that's right. Oh, I'll do more reclaim lumber. Right, and you need some ingots. Is it for a, a place, a, something you're placing down, Chiki? Because then I'll bring real ones and not the the uh, boosted shit. No. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Ooh. It'd be nice if we could build like um like can we do something like a, a silo? Not really, there's no rounded structures. The grocery should be for every map, Cerberus. The only thing that sometimes it doesn't show is um, it doesn't show the 230 metals. The level 230 metals. Until maybe you find it. I don't think even then it shows. Which is really frustrating. Oh. 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 Chiggy. Chiggy. Take your metals. There you go. And no, come back here. No, stupid cow. I still feel like I'm, I'm massively. Yeah, I've got 400 weight on me. What am I carrying? These beams. Right, I've got to put these beams away. What's this? What's this nonsense? 
key. How dare you. Dare you. It's clearly wood in here. Wood. That one's stuck. I'm gonna put your metals in there. That's the that's the odd ones out for the moment. There we go. <clears throat> And maybe I shall We've got f three, four, five, six, three, four, five. So actually, I'll get rid of this one. Yeah, we'll do it like that a little bit. Just to add a little bit of uh, breaking it up. Yeah, you're going to fill in the rest now? Go on. You got the lumber. Go on now. She's so derpy. She's kind of doing it, but she's being slow. Perfect. Okay. Oh yeah, that one too. I've got lumbar. Here you go. Come get the lumbar. I don't know if you need more than that, but there's 17 for now. Put some fencing around this stuff too. What is that? Shack Elspool. They look tall. I kind of like the idea of not really tall. I know it's quite tall. Is you have done it tall? Oh, shut up. I feel that should have been twine, not rope, because rope is just so expensive. Oh, I'm regretting now. I mean, look, I mean, plants I've got to put down now. Need face sprinklers, yes. Automatons. That's it. We need an automaton. Oh, chicky. Yeah, put put a water can in your follower. What? You, yeah. Have you got a spare water can? Stick it in your follower, or I'll stick it in mine. But yeah, a little automaton follower, that'd be great. Oh no. Is that right? Yeah, I think it is. Then we leave the gap there. I feel like this is off somewhere. Depend on what angle I'm using. Mm. 
Yeah, massively off. Why is that? But yeah, having a little automaton as you follow up, that'd be great. Call him Jeeves. Or Worcester. I don't know what's going on here. Something is wrong. Because the angle is well off. Maybe I need to do more to meld them into each other. A bit more. Oh, nearly. I might try forgetting about perfection. Maybe a little bit. It probably started here. We need to find some wheat to break down into seeds. I've got wheat back at the gaff. I'm sure I have, Chicky. I put it in the cook boxes, not the um, not the um, the grass. Oh, maybe it's that gap that's causing it. Two, yeah. Okay, that's it. This is totally overkill. I know I probably don't need this. I know you could probably just get by of having just two boxes of each. But like I said, I'm doing it more for the look. It's going to be worth it. But we could go deep on this. We could like literally make a smokehouse. Like a kitchenette. Uh, you know. Keep adding more and more. And then I think we'll go one more there, one more there. No, we will go like that. Yeah. Is that the only thing we don't have then, veg-wise? It's just oats and wheat. What if they bring animal husbandry in it? I'd love that. We'd have to like start making space for that as well.
Oh, these are so wonky. Why is it so wonky? No. There we go. Maybe I get rid of that middle two there. It's coming over. So I've got two two. Yeah. So then it'll be good for sectioning. And then maybe I can do something either what are the pots looking like? Are oh, the kinds they're kinda of tiny. I'm gonna sleep, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna drink. Anything like better in the, in the middle we can have as, de as decoration? Make it a little bit more rose like. So, actually, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. I'm muttering to myself. Sorry, everyone. I'm just like, yeah. Do it like this, do it like that. Might need lights. Yes. We'll put some lights in some of these little gaps. Make it at night time. Good idea. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just trying to get... That's what I want. What is that about? I swear my eyesight is so bad. That was nowhere near. Yeah, maybe it's a bit too... Get rid of this corner one. And that corner one. Yeah. Put a chair there or something. Right. I'll go and get some more lumber. How we doing? How we doing? How's the rest? These crops, they're all they're all mad. Oh, these are the chests for it, is it? Ooh. Miss berries. Miss berry seeds. Ah, oh, see what you're doing, Chicky. I like it, I like it, I like it. Some meadows. Yeah, yeah, good shit, good shit. But yeah, I, honestly, if we can get it so we've got in like this is all wheat, or not, uh, this is all going to be tier 5 fibres. But we could still add just little more sections. Like I said, follow Ponder's little um, path he's got going down this way. And build like another house, like I said, smoke house there, or the, the weed station. The weed, the weed station? The weed house? Uh, yeah. Oh, little living quarters up here as well. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Yeah, you can just re and you can even get rid of that portal by accident and come back to it, it will still be the same. As long as you open up exactly the same cards and you haven't clicked reset. Face sheep for mystical wall. Come like Minecraft then. They have like all weird colours on them. Do 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 
Right, let's see how the wood is doing. There we go. So I'll put another batch on. No, hang on. Am I messing this up? Yeah, I'm not getting 200 back, am I? Yeah, I am. I am. I am. No way, delicious. Where's my guy? Where my guy at? Did she not teleport with me? I need to, you know what, I need to make like a clothing gear set that's just got nothing but pure weight on it. Oh. She's right there in front of me. There you are. No. No, no, come back here. No. Please, no. Please. Come here now. Come here. Stupid cow. No. No, no. You dickhead, no. No, not even just... You dickhead. Come, no. Where are you going? Come here. Oi, 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 oi. No, yes. Let's go back. Do 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 do. You know you can do the short rest. You have a, you just got to click long press on it. You got to hold it, and it brings up the options for short one. So even though it is night time, yes. Just saying, just pointing it out there. So farm is definitely giving us more stuff now, right? You definitely get more seeds out of shit. Compared to what you put in. Right, where's Nell? Nell? She's just taking half hour for her to load in. She's waited. It's alright. 
Fry FX. Uh, we are using here. Uh, I can't remember what card we're using. We're just using a random one. No, we've got the lumber card on. There she is. Oh, okay. No. Come on, come on. Why am I still heavy? Oh, because I've got 300 on me still. Oh, what about these fences? Do they take lumber or beams? There we go. Just need a shit ton of rope. Is there a way to turn off? Yes, example. You've got a cleansing card that you should have. Play that and it gets it to the base lines. But no, you can't turn it off. We're at the limit stations now. I could get rid of the ones we don't really need here, like fortune saws. Um yeah, because we're not we're not getting wood, and it might be. Although the baskets are nice, it's probably better off replacing them with just regular boxes, because they'll hold slightly more. They do look nice though, but yeah, I would say, yeah. See, I'm only at 252 of mine. That's interesting. Yeah, I'll, I'll take not having decorations for the sake of having actual proper storage or um, like it looking organised and shit. Things we do need, like, yeah, loom for fibre. Absolutely, I would say. Probably... Don't need to refine more vessel stations. Well, I don't know. Maybe we do. So is that the limit for this structure then? That is interesting. Okay, so we've got all that. You've got your side ones. So we didn't do the same on this side, did we? Because we're going to run into that rock. More than likely. We could do like a little smaller one here. But if that's going to reach the limit. If it comes down to it, Fry, and we do, uh, Fry, uh, Ponder, and we do want more storage. 
Maybe we'll have to sacrifice the uh, upper upper parts. We do need both mortar stations. All right, Chickies. Chickies said, "Leave touch my fucking mortar stations, and I'll have you. I'll fucking have you." Oh, hang on. I've got stuff. I've got work to do, Danny. There we go. Charm of the Mule. The Calcarian, that is the best one. Well, actually, no, Explorer's got slightly more weight. But I think it's got slightly less health overall. As a baseline stats. And I've checked that because I did a video on it recently. If you were making out like the same shit. Maybe because one of them's got slightly different properties. One of them you probably need a little bit more fiber to make it out of rather than leather or something. But yeah, that's what I've kind of worked out. That's looking good, people. Looking good. I want more, though. I want more. Bella, Bellow, TS, welcome. More. Literally farm plots all round. That's what I thought, but when I made the baseline calcularian and the explorer set, um, the explorer had slightly more weight. Yes, that's what it is. Gear score. You're right. The Calcularian's got a better gear score. No, that's not true. They're both 74. I'll show you when I get back to base. Alright, I'm going to go and get the tier. I'm going to put this wood away. So if you need any lumber. Well, I ain't got much. But um, there you go. I'm going to go and grab my um, fibres to grow. I will also bring all over the seeds that I've got, Chicky. There are cards that affect carrying capacity yet. Right, so fiber wise, what do we got? It's a for swamp. I'm, I mean, you can grow this, right? I'm not being stupid. You can grow it. I'm saying this now, like, maybe you can't grow it. Jute. Like some of this stuff is like named, so yeah, I do want to grow it, even though it's only tier one. Obviously, not growing advanced bound fiber. Surely not. I'll take it with us anyway, just in case. Okay, um, also keep that on the go. It's got 190. So put the 90 there, that should give us 180 back. And I'll do that one as well. Okay, seeds wise. Oh, what else have I got? There you go. I've got plant oats fibers, plant fiber wheat, ground coffee, 
No. I'm going to bring this all. I want to grow all of this. All of it. Every single one. I might as well take the foods with us as well. No, I'll leave some of the foods there. No, actually, because we might be able to make some of these in the wheat if we don't have them. No, uh, it's the seeds. Can you grow mushrooms? Is that a thing? Tubes don't grow at the moment. You can't do onions either. Rip. But yes to all mushrooms. Gotcha. I was debating whether or not... Um... Well, you've got... What ones have you got over there? Why don't we bring the... Um... My excellent bench over. Craft another one, or just come over and use it. My, uh, where's the mortar and pestle? Yeah, masonry bench, masonry bench. No, we've got the excellent ones there. We have, haven't we? I'll oh, shut up. I'm coming over. They're pretty tooth decorations. So yeah, you can only find them. Oh, man. Do, 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 do. If you are watching people, I've not said it once in four and a half hours, but if you haven't liked on YouTube, do me a favour and swing a like. It helps out. Come follow me on Twitch if you haven't already followed me. I think while I've got Valheim stuff going on, that might be where you might only see sometimes Nightingale stuff for like a couple of days. Okay. Well, I don't know why I left that gap there. That gap's too big. It needs another plant box. It does. It does. You out on the open sea with your narrow boat then? Yes, what stick out of control? It's a good one. The trick's the cards. If you get it early, and normally you get, for some reason you get, well I found I had loads of them given to me. Yeah, it's pretty good man, it's pretty good. Right, so what I'd like is, yeah, a distinct either area for like seeds, like the seedings. So what we've got here, the mortar station, that's what we've got to make the seeds out of, right? No, where do I make seeds? I've, honestly, I've not done any farming. I haven't got a Danny. How do I make seeds? Your first Lancaster that will be a pursuit one. Nice. You bloody better, Timothy James. Mortar for seeds is the mortar. Oh, seed. There we go. Seed. Oh, you know what? I'm going to save this for the video tomorrow. So I can record and be like, this is how we did it. I've only got three plant fibre seeds. Ooh. There we go. We'll grow that first. Man, it's such a nice effect. Just look at that. 
That's so pretty. And then oats. There we go. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at that. I've got something wrong. That's how to get engagement. How do I get wood, everyone? Oh, I don't know how to get wood. As a bishop said to the vicar. So, I've got this. There's all the seeds, right? Jute. Okay, so you can make jute seeds. I've got two things here. Realise as well. Yes, here we go. Tier 4. Yep. Yeah, bam. All the way. 84. And then... Do the five as well, yeah. Money, woo. It's a tier four swap. Okay. Marigold, Jute, Dahlia, Sedge, Snapdragon, Sunflower, Tier 4, Swamp. I've only got three seeds. No, that's what I just picked up. Hang on, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till I get all these seeded. You're not going to help me get wood. Chicky, damn it. <laughs> nah, that's alright. I'll help myself. Plant fiber grass. Yeah, that's it. I'm cooking all that. We'll cook the short ones here. Okay. Carrots. Yeah, we'll go for it. She does plant as well. That's good to know. We'll test that out tomorrow. I, I haven't made a watering can yet either. That's going to take a while. Six seeds now. Okay, so what can we put in here? We've got four boxes. And I said this was going to be oats, coffee. Yeah, go on. We'll have coffee here for for a minute. Coffee. Okay. So, inspecting it. Increase growth rate. Increase growth rate. So, we need a card, people. We need a card. We've got the wood card playing at the moment. Let's play something different. Let's get something more out of it. The yield of crops. Yeah, I haven't got the farms card. Where'd you pick up the farms card from then? Well, might as well do that one. Carrots don't grow. Right, Chiki. Good to know, good to know. So it is darker, slightly darker. Looks a bit more wetter. 
Oh no, hang on. Does it never rain with the settler card? Is that is that the problem with it? <laughs> oh, well, that grew pretty quick. Am I full up? Or does it just drop everywhere for some reason? If you use Skive, does it matter? I, I'm guessing not. How odd. It's lush, so no rain. Shit. What are we going to do then? Right. Come on, we've got to get a watering can to our followers. Okay. What have we got the most of it? No, don't allo. Dahlia. Swamp fiber, here we go. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think I'm going to create a little bit more space between these so you can def definitively see what's in what. Where's the tier 5 swamp fiber? There we go. That's what we want. Well, at this rate, this is all going to be for sure tier 4 swamp, which is the best one, really. this I'll take that equip go about your business now go on show me your stuff girl no Molly Berry no mate 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 we're having the biggest farm we're gonna have the biggest farm May. Uh, got got rat bags out with me. Wrote me in. Want fields of gold. Eva Cassidy playing at all times. That's that's one only the, the boomers will know. We're gonna have we're gonna have we you that's blah, 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 blah. we've we're building we're gonna build our own um. Uh, what what did we say it was? Skank skunk, dank skank skunk house. We're growing weed. We're gonna build a little sort of, you know, a hemp farm, exclusively just for the hemp. Tempest, yes, it does tugboat. It does. We know that. We know that. We're just toying around and messing around, seeing what's better, because. 
Is it better to get double yield from certain things? Is it better to just, if you've got a follower, leave them to water? Yours is nice looking. I won't dispute that. I'm sure it is. I did have a little look. It looks nice. Hey, I like mine though. My guys have built this one, not me. Mostly. With a bit of dict dictation from me. Don't build that there. We messed around for ages trying to find like the perfect swamp. And we was debating all sorts about where to put it. But really, I just wanted somewhere like uber flat. But yeah, we're gonna have a little a little hemp house for the good herb. Maybe a smoke house. No? Oh no, I've done that one. Done that one, done that one, done that one. There's a few different types of arches. Yeah, the build stuff is crazy. Like, how much you got to go around looking for just the individual stuff. Good herb right here. That's all right. How you doing, Molly? What's going on? Oh. Oh, that one. Okay. I think that's it. Did that one, did that one, did that one, did one, did one. Did one. Yep. Oh, might as well. Potatoes. That was the other thing we didn't have a load of. So it needs water. Is she... Is my girl watering? What? What is she doing? Nell? Are you right there? Do you want... Do you want to come over... Like, what is she, what is she doing? Yeah, that's what we're debating, just for the rain. Like, we're testing stuff. I've not messed around with farming at all, so... Um, but yeah, although we have just played the um, Settler Apogean card. See how much more yield it gives us as well. But more than likely, we probably will run it on even 10 best still. Seems to work just there, though. We grew stuff pretty quick. That does need water, and Nell seems to be stuck. Have I got to build a separate walkout? The better option probably would have been the desert, because it would have been all nice and flat. But I'm sick of seeing the desert, since my main base is at the desert. I'm just like, I'm done. If you craft an estate card in a non balance realm... Yeah, it, it works. Wherever you craft that card, it will work for that particular realm. They won't water, they will only seed. Nah, someone told me they water. I mean, it could be chatting shit, but look, who's, who's doing this then? Not me. I mean, there might just be too many at the moment. She's like, are you fucking mad, bro? Why, why are you giving me like 250 boxes to grow? I need help here. Or a pay rise, one of the two. Are you mad, fam? And then there's really no po much point in growing tier five wheat, is there? Yeah, Fry, I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. I'll go and check them out in Discord afterwards. Much love. A rain barrel thingy. That's a point. We've got a half-built one. We need two ingots. We've got two ingots. Yeah, we've got a couple. That can't be fake snide ones. It's got to be the real ones. There we go. Wheat is defo worth it for the dough. Okay. All right, I'm going to grow that in a separate section. I told you, I want, well, yeah. This so where we've got to be organized and be like, this is only ever wheat. No dicking about, no putting different plants here, unless you're actually going to be taking them out there and then. Because that was the problem with portals. P -p 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 portals. 
you end up just losing track of everything if you don't keep it organized. Although I am like really close to just going, nah, you know what? Right, you know what? It says tulips there. I'm putting it in. I know you just told me it doesn't work, but I don't care. Let's do these snap dragons as well. Sedge, yeah, go on, have a bit of sedge in your life. Grass. Obviously, if we're not harvesting, maybe we just put the Tempest card on and just see what happens. Because it'd be nice to see it all filled before we go. Because I'm going to end stream relatively soon. Has anyone ever seen a fabled sun giant? Fabled etched ingots? Yes. The fabled sun giant is the boss or the big giant that you find in the um, desert hunt realms. If you haven't followed the quest to get it, that's how you got to go and find him. And he will drop the ingots you need. As carrots don't grow. Coffee? Get your coffee? Yeah, I've just done this big mix now. Oh. What happened there? I'm saving that other one for mostly some shit. Coffee? You got 30 or so ingots from that dude? Nice. You just watch on YouTube wanting to see the chat. Yeah, I know. Everyone's like, oh, put chat up on screen. I'm like, no. Don't want chat on screen. I have to just deal with my not sometimes reading anything out. Delphiniums don't work either, Smokey. I, what is a delphinium? I don't think I've even come across that plant. No lie. Right, that's the rule, Chicky Ponder. If you take something, you harvest something, you plant it back. No empty boxes. This one's already watered. That it comes. Made you go to Twitch. Well, welcome in. You ain't followed yet, though. You're not followed yet. Yeah, if you're watching on Twitch, I am mostly a YouTuber. You've seen the adverts from Nightbot. That is my shizzle. But I'm trying a bit with Twitch. So do go check out my YouTube channel for lots of guides around Nightingale, Valheim, more gameplay, stuff like that. No, that's it. Apparently it's wood. Okay, no, nope. cut more. I'm just filling it all. I, I've, I've lost, I've lost it. Just making sure everyone's got every single one of them. Why not, Camille? Camille. You know what? Maybe I should just use the keyboard. 
sitting there holding the controller and the keyboard in one go. Yeah, is that everything? No, no one. Okay. No. Are you watering? I think she is. I think she is watering. It's just a wee little bit slow. Oh, look at that, Chucky. Look at that. Thank you very much, Zach. I think. Remember that yourself too, Jade. No, I'll pop back after you. Oi, oi, how dare you. Oh, Delphinium turns into four Marigold Seals or so for some reason. Right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I like it, I like it. But we can go bigger. Now Molly's here. Yeah. 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 I don't know what's going on here though. Is my girl going to come and actually do it or what? And we need to make more seeds. So we've got coffee. That's going to make more coffee, right? Coffee. 30 plant fiber. Go on in. We'll get the hemp. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely get a hemp house. But for now, we'll just use what we've got. Same snapdragon. Oh, so should I have not used the snapdragon I had? I'm hearing bad guys. Oh, it's a portal. I knew it was something. Ah, oh, it was too low. It was too low. You know what else we need? We need like more of a, a walkway here. Probably could go bigger there. And there's two onions, two different types of onions. Does that mean one of the onions actually works? Yeah, I reckon we'll do another section here. There we go. Oh, you subscribed, Zach. Thank you very much. I only need you to follow, but I'll take the subscription. Much, much appreciated. One is dropped from Grenland, others grows in realms. Yeah, because I've got the, the fake cards. If you look at it, it's got a weird um, purple shizzle. And then you've got the, the actual coffee seeds, right? There. Test item. I presume it's not going to work if I plant it. Do you know what? Maybe we'll try I know lots of you have said, oh, it just doesn't work, but, you know. And it, I'm guessing it all takes exactly the same time. There's no, there's no difference in timing. I hope that changes. I hope they do make things take like three days to grow, two days to grow. I think that would be pretty good, to be honest. Add a bit more depth to it. So the best seeds, best foods take longer to grow. Or more delicate conditions. Maybe some stuff like mushrooms would benefit from working under shelter. Maybe. Those fake seeds will drop some desert boss dungeon. Watch before patch. Right. Want me to test it. 
So what's his test in it? None of these, like, I swear I just hurt a water plop. Is that because she fell in the water? No. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing now? I don't think she's falling, like, explicitly in the water. She's just an idiot. It's not raining either, you know what. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Tempest Eminent. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be that one then. It's the pink one. I've got the coffee plants. I've got them. Oh, you, you bummed me out. Yeah? Oh, alright. It's done it. It's done it. The eminent cards are stronger. And then Apogee and are the strongest. So it just goes up in level. So it should give you more benefits. Either it gives you more yield if it's one of the uh, refinement ones. Or it might give you more loot. Different types of loot. So I think the treasury one. No, the dragon's quest. Or the treasury one. Treasury one gives you more chance of finding higher essences. Higher tier ones. And the dragon's quest. Dragon's... The one that gives you more loot in chests. I think the first one says you get more loot. The second one says you get more loot and raw gems. And then the third one, raw gems and or Something like that. Hunter Eminent is so bad in Desert Room. Why? What does it do? I, I can't remember. Hunter one just doesn't make more creatures spawn, does it? What does it do? Has that made it rain? No, still got the settler card on. Fuck you, man. Made me lose me, um... Expensive. Cost like an emerald. There we go. You can't kill the bishop and her minions. Why? 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 Oh yeah, look, 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 look. So that's the test stuff. I'm going to pick it up just to see. There you go, it's turned into coffee cherry. Is this lot going to grow? Requires headshots and does no damage on other hit shots. So if you can't crit, then you can't kill the mobs at all. Right, I got you. And the queen doesn't have the bishop doesn't have a, a thingy shot. Okay, I got you. I got you. Well, there we go. There's all the tier four. This is what I really wanted. I wanted this whole area. I just filled with nothing but the um, fibers. Okay, I'm going to keep on making seeds out of the shit we need. Chicky's on the seed grind now as well. Chicky, chicky, chicky. Uh, what else do we need? There's two types of spinach as well. Anyone notice that? They are seemingly slightly different. Miss Berries? Vegetable oats. What? Yeah, oats. Yeah, we'll grow some more oats. She has weak shot, but she shields. She can't kill her at all. Gotcha. 45 seed hemp. Okay, I'm going to grow this in this little corner. So obviously, I would say, people, ponder, chicky, if you're going to... It might be worth trying not to harvest everything. Or if you do, harvest everything, but make sure you've got the um, right card plan to get double. 
So either the settler card or the farming card if we make it. I've got to go and get it. Where's the farming card? Come on, you brainiacs. Where do I pick up a farming card recipe? Oh, the greenhouse. Oh, maybe I don't even have the greenhouse. What are you doing, Joe? Oh, no, that's it. We've done it. I'll tell you what I think we should do, people. We said we was going to build a proper farmhouse. I think we'll wait until we unlock all the stave or the Bhutan shit. And maybe we'll build it out of that. go farm gave me crude fiber when i tested it oh really farm card thank you pristine saltine you picked it up in the desert hunt nice okay well that sucks so is my hemp empire dead before i've even begun no reefer for me i'm gonna put the tier five in even though i know it's useless but i'm gonna I need to pick up the tier 4 and 5 desert fibre then, I guess, since I don't have any. Yeah, oof, okay. Well, I'm going to test this out tomorrow. I'll be more alert and I'll be doing my voiceovers live maybe and be like, don't bother growing this because this doesn't work. Yeah, it's looking alright, it's looking alright. This is absolutely pig's mess. But you know, we'll get there. Oh, the water thing's filled up now. Cotton turns into crude. Nice. I have stave. I just thought we were going for rustic swamp chat. No, no, I know, I know. This, I think, suits perfectly. But for a farmhouse, like a proper farmhouse build, you know, they can live in a bit more. Um, nicer day like this the, the imaginary farmer and his wife that i imagine live here which is actually just us three so farm that means ponder i'm taking your young man so me and chicky are farmer and farmer's wife and uh ponder you're our son we're doing flowers here it looks very flowery here chicky I'm getting a flower vibe. We could do it like that. We can section it off. Someone sold you a runner. Oh, is this lot all... Did someone harvest all this? I think it's see what it looked like. Son of a bitch. Son of a chicky. It's that card you just use to make everything look dead. Does it look dead? What, the plants as well? No, it doesn't change, does it? Oh, you mean they're all a bit more yellow? So they change, depending on cards. No way. Oh my god, you can't actually get through the bushes. Or well, some of them. That is interesting. Bar marigold seeds turn into three or four marigold seeds. Okay, so you just got like end of the supply. Uh, that should be growing. Right, 
Well, it's all growing now, so should we? I'll play another card. We'll try it out if we're ready. But I'm not going to lie. I'm done. I'm done. I've got to go. I'm, I can't be up late again. It's one o'clock. I've gone over again. Lube M. Oh my god. Thank you very much for the five community subs. Lube M. Or maybe Lou Bim 29. Thank you very much for the community subs. Much appreciated. Thank you. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. We want bigger. I mean it. I want I want just ridiculous. I feel like this is patches. I do want to do big strips as well. How much space can we effectively use in the water? Maybe a little bit over there. What I really wanted to do was see if we could make, like I said, like an S. An, uh, an N for Nightingale out of like one crop. It'd be cool if that they really do make the crops fill out a lot more of the boxes. But yeah, we're going to get the hemp house sorted. We'll definitely put another section there. And then I might just do decoration ones where we just put them all around. The whole thing. It's not me though. This is the guys. Big shout out to Chicky Rocker. And Ponder. Ponder Wild. These guys have been doing the work with me. Solid. So thank you people. Uh, Chicky, do you need an estate card to get back here? Instead of having to go all the way back to... Uh, my one. I think that's this swamp card. I'll drop it down. You let me know. Charm the Bounty. Yeah, that's what I'll focus on tomorrow before I record my video. It'll be um, getting the best gear for Farbit. So the bounty one. I mean, there's still a lot. I, I I need to play to understand it as well. It, sometimes it's no good when I just get told, even though it's useful, some things. Sometimes it just won't stick until I go and do it myself. So I think I will log in tomorrow and I'll go and mess around and pull out every plant, grow it again. Look into the charms. What else could you have for like a, a farmer's get up? I guess... Not weight? You don't need much weight, do you? Movement speed? To farm more efficiently? I won't take it to extremes like I have with the magic build. But... Kind of a bit of, like, yeah, a bit of speed. A bit of stam. I don't know, that's not, probably overthinking it. Yeah, we're going to do good. And we'll get, um... Another section. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about doing... Uh, a hemp house even if the hemp doesn't work not just hemp we'll just we'll just yeah the mushrooms that's it we haven't grown mushrooms yet so maybe we can make like a darker room a darker building for mushrooms and pots we should put the pot plants around as well and just see what they look like a bit more decor it's a nice big big deck space and I'll make a ton of rope tomorrow as well maybe God, we need loads to fill out all this. So what is that you're growing? Wheat. Oh, there we go. We've got some wheat. You didn't see me, Chicky. You didn't see me. Right, I'm going to dump off all the seeds and everything I've got on me now, though. So I'm not taking anything. No, that's mine. The advanced fibre. So, help yourselves, people. That's what we built it for. Oh. I assume that was like daytime. I've got the weird... Can you grow the weird mushrooms? The guys mushrooms. They're the ones that were 230 drops, right? Also, what happened to that bug that you had, Chicky? You had a weird bug, didn't you? From the 230. I still haven't come across them. Yeah, no. Give me back my advanced fibre. Just in case. You can't turn into seeds. Wheat's painful to find. Any tips? Um, honestly, no. I think... 
feel like it's probably around a lot of provisioner buildings. Like in the packets and stuff. But I could be wrong. Like, you know, little holes. Apparently my magic is even stronger in the rain. 435 magic power. Damn, son. That's got to be because of the... Um, that's even higher than it was yesterday. Because of the rain. Those berries were in my chest that you moved to put up those pearls. Oh, right. I will check them out, Chicky. I want to have a little look. <laughs> All food recipes would be nice. Always see on Reddit fishing, guys. Yeah, because the, the shimmy is good. But I've made the uh, tender steak and perfect steak. They're good. They're good, too. I'm still getting there. I think I've still got some recipes to get. The rain barrel is meant to collect the water, so it's just meant to be a good source for you to use when it's not raining, in case you have got a, you've changed your realm and there's no water. So having a couple of them means effectively you can water whenever you want, even if you've changed the realm. It doesn't grow right. Onions, we've established that onions, maybe not. I couldn't make a seed out of these onions anyway. So maybe not, no. Right, I've got to go, people. I'm knackered. Tomorrow. I will try and maybe do this video in a day. So maybe tomorrow night we hit it back again with some um, vaults. Although I have still got to finish off the magic build. I have still got to craft some new weapons. So that video will be out maybe tomorrow, not farming. And I'll save the farming one for the weekend. But yes, tomorrow, same time, 8pm UK time. We're doing something with Nightingale. If it's vaults, people can join. I have open sessions. Just come hit me up. I've got a special realm. We do it in extreme. So you can get 70 essence tier 3 in each pod. Um, don't care if you've got juice guns. We're just doing it and cheesing and, and getting through as quickly as we can. Um, just to get as much tier 3 essence. So if you want to join us for that, we'll be doing that at some point tomorrow night at around eight o'clock so thank you so much everyone hanging out and the tips and um i will see you lot later